Hello everybody, welcome back for another x Plane 11 live stream. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you very, very much for taking some time out of your busy schedules to come and hang out with me as we fly some virtual airplanes in the virtual skies. First and foremost, you'll notice that my camera is not on. I tweaked my back this morning. Uh, a combination of sleeping like an idiot and then having to put my winter tires on and lugging those all around. And then having to take my other tires and move them up into my storage. Uh, I have hurt my back pretty pretty badly, actually, to the point where I'm heavily considering going to see the chiropractor after stream. Uh, I don't know what I did, but it hurts big time. Um, welcome aboard, everyone. I hope everybody is doing great. I hope everybody's having a great Monday. Awesome start to the week. Um, so, yes. Uh, I don't know what I did. It's like my, it's my upper back too. It's like my upper back shoulder. So like if I have my arm at a certain position and I take a deep breath in, it just starts like back spasming like crazy. It's awful. From somebody that deals with like chronic back problems, um, take care of your backs. Do stretches every morning if you can. I've kind of started this new routine and that's kind of why I've been okay for the last little bit is I'm waking up every morning and I'm doing like this grouping of stretches that is supposed to uh fix my core and, and and make it better and um it is a family issue that i have w with back issues it's uh, my grandfather my father uh everybody that i've known on my dad's side of the family has had back issues um so yeah i gotta be really careful um Sonny, it's funny because I remember Sonny tweaked his back maybe six months ago, eight months ago. Maybe it wasn't even that long ago. And I remember laughing in Discord, like, you know, laughing at the, like, how he tweaked it and what happened. And I'm not even kidding. I think a couple days later, um, it did the same thing to me as well. Uh, Sonny will remember that one. And then we all had a good laugh. It was like karma just coming around and kicking me in the ass. Anyways, um, hopefully it's not too bad. Like I said, it's not like my lower back or anything. It's more, it's more my back and shoulder. So hopefully, uh, I'm going to schedule an appointment for, for the, for the chiropractor after stream today. Uh, I'll just go and visit them very quickly. It's like a 10 or a five minute, um, quick fix. Hopefully they can just get everything back aligned so uh welcome aboard everybody i hope you guys are all doing well uh special stream today exciting stream uh, a lot of us have been waiting for this airplane yavuz hope you'll feel better soon thank you my friend i appreciate you we already missed a stream uh this weekend because of internet issues so uh there was no chance in hell we were going to miss another stream today uh i at least wanted to be here it, albeit i'm not in the best i took i took a robaxa set for those of you that uh, in North America, you'll probably know what a Robaxa set is. So I took one of those. I have a, a stash of those for when it gets really bad. So I've got one of those. It seems to be working, seems to be doing its thing. I just had a nice lunch as well. So, uh, hopefully we'll be feeling better. Uh, but welcome everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well. I do have my joystick cam on today. So you guys will be able to see everything that's going on on this way, at least. So we've got everything there for you guys. Um, yeah. So, uh, this is the AD simulations. Um, CRJ 700, do you guys want the good news or do you guys want the good news? I think we only have good news today. Do you guys want some good news? I have some good news regarding this airplane. If you guys would like some good news, I can, we can, we can divulge the good news now and we can talk about it. We can get everybody excited for it. Uh, the good news, yeah, see, good news first, right? We got good news and good news. Um, the good news, this aircraft is releasing tomorrow. The airplane is releasing tomorrow. Um, I also have some good news regarding the price point. Um, I feel like it's a, a, a very fair price point for this airplane. Um, has it got CPDLC services? No, X-Flyer. It does not. It does not. Um, so, the airplane is releasing tomorrow. You should be available uh, on all the major purchasable websites. I, I know for sure it's going to be on the xplane.org. Um, the price tag, $49.95. So, releasing tomorrow morning, at some point, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, I guess it depends where you are in the world. Uh, price tag, $49.95. So, uh, that is going to be the price of the aircraft, and at that price, um, 
it actually allows me to kind of get involved and 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 be part of this whole thing i think at 49.95 i think that's a that's a very fair price as long as the developer continues to update the aircraft which i've been promised that they will uh, as long as they continue to update the aircraft they continue to, to to pay attention to detail and implement fixes and implement things um is is it a perfect airplane no absolutely not there there are definitely some things that i would do differently and i would change but that being said i had the opportunity last night to um kind of fly it and just practice it i i basically set myself up at my home airport of ottawa and uh, I plugged in the ILS for runway seven and I just did circuits. Um, I did about four or five landings in a row. I've kind of figured out how to land this aircraft. Um, I will say this, it is a lot of fun to fly. Uh, the flight model and what they've kind of done with it, 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 it is very balloony, it is very floaty because we've got that, um, you know, we've got that, that ground effect with those beautiful low wings. Um, there is a very extensive ground effect. That looks, that's a beautiful picture with New York City in the background right there. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful picture right there. Just like that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous picture. Um, yeah, so there is, um, I do really enjoy the flight model. I think the flight model was done, was done very nicely. So, um, anyways, that is the price. You guys can make the decision on yourself whether it's worth it for you or whether it is not worth it for you. There's no need to share it in chat. I don't need to see it. It should be free. This should be $29.99. Listen, dude, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. You can keep that opinion and keep it to yourself because there's not it's it we're not we're not here debating what the price should be and what you think the price shouldn't be. Uh that that is the price that the developer has set. $49.95 and and it's either worth it for you or it's not worth it for you. And that's completely fine. Nobody is, nobody is telling you you need to buy this airplane. Um, you, get to be a, a, you get to be a grown-up and you get to make that own decision yourself whether you think this aircraft and this developer uh, deserves your hard-earned money. That's it. I am here to help showcase the airplane. Uh, in my opinion, for $49, yes, I do think it's worth it. Um, especially when you when you look at what the developer wants to add within the next year or so of development of this aircraft so um yeah without further ado let's jump inside the aircraft i am running a newer version so we're, we're running a newer release candidate um so this i believe is release candidate number one i'm sure there's going to be another release candidate this evening if not more than that um, but this is release candidate number one. So we're going to be flying this. They've addressed some of the things that we've done. Um, some of the things that happened yesterday, we've addressed some of those issues. I'll be able to speak about them. They've added a few things in the electronic flight bag as well. Um, I've also been told how to actually use the electronic flight bag properly this way. Um, so <clears throat> without further ado, this is a beautiful scene right now. We've got the Ikea building over here. Where's the Ikea? There's the Ikea. We got the Ikea building over there. We've got downtown Manhattan over there. We've got the Freedom One or Freedom Tower, I think it's called. Uh, Manhattan looking absolutely beautiful today over there off our left wing. And we've got this brand new CRJ700 that we're going to fly today. Um, we are Endeavor 4931 service from Newark to Cincinnati. And then we're going to jump from Cincinnati down to a home base of Atlanta. Uh, these are real world flights. This is happening today in this aircraft. John, thanks so much for the $2, man. Appreciate you, dude. Cam Cannon doing his best Ron Popel impressions. No, nah, I just, you know, man, you know how everybody feels like they, they have to have their opinions heard and they have to continuously spam and chat if they feel that an aircraft is not worth it in their opinion. Again, everybody is entitled to their own opinion and and by no means am i saying if you don't think this aircraft is worth it it, I, it makes no difference to me right that's completely up to you um so that's that's just what i just there, there's been a lot of like negativity i know that this aircraft's been followed quite a bit there's been a little bit of some history with this airplane uh if you want to speak on it briefly uh the developer used to work with ssg and that's kind of why I'm, I'm, I'm working with this developer and, I, and I've been following this project for so long. Um, the, the main developer of this aircraft used to work with SSG or for SSG. Um, didn't really, well, we're not going to get into the political side of things. For his own reasons, he decided to leave SSG and 
continue making this aircraft and and uh, present us with this aircraft. So um, you guys know my history with the channel of SSG. Uh, you know how I feel about their products. So um, moving forward, uh, you know, I, I, I'd been following this project very closely for, for about the last two years, two and a half years. So, um, yes, that's kind of the little backstory. That's everything that's going on with this aircraft. That's kind of, um, yeah, why we're here today and, and why I'm so interested in this aircraft and taking a look at it and, and working with the developer and doing a, a sneak peek. It's, it's a little bit of a, um, if you will, it, it's a little bit of a shot for me as well, as this is a brand new developer, um, the community could look at this negatively right and then it could affect my channel as well so i'm kind of taking a leap of faith in the developer in that um you know the add-ons and, and the stuff that they want to get done to this airplane will get done to it um i have faith i've spoken to them enough now that that i do believe that um they have the good intentions that they really do want um to make this a very, very, very uh, great aircraft for x -Wing. I think they're there. I think they're already there. There's just um, there's just some, some things that I would like to see changed. Obviously, the custom FMC is going to be on the top of everybody's list. They have announced that they will be making a custom FMC. So we will get a custom FMC in the aircraft. It does not currently have one. Um, again, that's fine. But, uh, you know, l l let's hope they don't go down the road of Magnite and you know, four years later, we're kind of still waiting for a custom FMC. Let's hope we don't go down that road. Let's hope that they can deliver what they promised. And that was that within a year, we would see a custom FMC for this aircraft. So, um, yeah, I mean, if I had to say anything, I mean, uh, the, the, the way that they've kind of described the EFB is not the best. I would like to see that changed or updated as well, which I'm sure they will do over time. Um, I've figured out how to control the actual EFB a little bit better than yesterday. So hopefully I'll be able to showcase that and how we're going to do that. So friends, without further ado, let's jump inside the cockpit. Let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll. We're sitting cold and dark. We're ready to go. Um, let's enjoy our first flight here in the uh, AD Simulations CRJ 700. Uh, let's do it, friends. So here we go inside the cockpit of the beautiful airplane. Um, modeling, texturing. I think the modeling is done great. I don't think there's anything wrong with the modeling. I think it looks good. Um, I do like the screens as well, the screen resolution that has been done. It's a newer style of CRJ. So this is actually the Mitsubishi. Um, it's the newer style that has a little bit of dark. Um, we've got, of course, a full uh, functioning... Um, uh, what do we want to call it here? Galley, if you will. Um, again, texturing looks really nice. The texturing was done. I can't say anything about this texturing. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And I mean, we've got a nice little cabin. We've got a two seat or a two, uh, two class layout. So we've got first class here. And then we've got, of course, economy. Uh, I believe it holds in this setup right now. I believe it's 68 passengers. So the CRJ 700 is supposed to be 70 passengers. So I believe in this seat setup here, it's got 68 passengers. Um, and of course, we've got the actual functioning toilet, which uh, seems to be the huge rave nowadays. Everybody likes to have a good old functioning toilet. So uh, there we go. This is the cabin. It's got a full, fully modeled. All the lights can get turned on as well. So I'll come back up here and we can turn all the lights on. Uh, already blows the CRJ 200 from J Rollon out of the water. Well, the thing with the CRJ from J Rollon is it's just so old, right? Like so old, man. So, 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 so old. Um, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and turn all of our sounds up. We'll get ready to rock and roll here, friends. Let's go. Um, directly to the overhead and let's start getting some things turned on. So we'll get our master battery switch on. Of course, it comes with a full F mod sound set as well. Get our AC power on. Get our master warnings and the aircraft is coming to life. Beautiful. Um, let's come over here. We're going to get our air conditioning off. We can get our research fans on. Um, cargo can go to Cond Air. That is good. Windshield heat can go over to low. That is good. Uh, no smoking to on. Seatbelt signs on. Emergency lights. I don't think they still... They apparently want them on. That's fine. We'll go to Nav. We'll get our logo light on. Get some brightness up here on the lights. Everything looks good up there for now. We're going to leave our fuel pumps off because we're going to be refueling. We'll get our DC service on as well. Cool. 
Everything looks good up there. I'm happy with that. Wonderful. Um, let's go to the electronic flight bag. Um, so things have been changed with this a little bit yesterday. You can still see that we've got our door handlings. I'll open up some doors here for you guys as well, just so we can simulate that. There we go. We'll open up all the doors. Um, passenger count today. So they've, uh, they've showed me how to work this properly now. So passenger count for this afternoon. Remember that we can take 68 passengers. Uh, how many do we have here? It says we're taking 67. So you can click on this and you can pop open the tablet. This is the uh, pop-up tablet that, it, that comes up and you can essentially just put it over top of this one. But what this allows you to do is I can now click on this number, click on 30, and I can now put 67 and enter. So that's what they've done. It's, it's, it's a lot more intuitive than trying to drag the number up and down, obviously, right? Um, again, you can, you can, you know, it's a little bit of a nightmare to try and drag it up and down. So that's how you do that. So that was really cool. I really did like that. Um, they've also switched it so that you can switch it between pounds and kilograms. So kilograms and pounds. Um, you guys know that I run most of my stuff on kilograms. And you'll also see here that we've got our um, landing speeds. So these are now the landing speeds. You can see that you can click this. Um, landing speeds, again, is going to be, you can see where they've kind of paired it to. So whatever our V2 speed ends up being will be the landing speed. So we'll pair that with that. You can see how both are coming down. Intuitive, you can load them, you can do whatever you want. That's how the landing speeds work. So they've changed that. So they've added that, they've added that, which is a nice little tidbit of, uh, of, uh, of the EFB as well. I think that it was definitely needed because a lot of people do use KG and stuff like that. Um, okay, so let's go over to our fuel. We need on the fuel today, uh, 5333. So 5333. So if we had to separate that, I mean, what we could do is we could just zero this out, put this to zero, 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 and then we could just go like this and go 5333 and enter that. And then what that'll do is that'll end up, no, it won't do that. Okay. Um, so we'll put 2,500 in each, 2,500. All right. And then we need to have, um, it's going to be 53. So we need to have about 350 in here. So there we go. So we've got 2,500 in each uh, wing, and then we've got 350 kg. So you see how much simpler that is now, right? It's it's extremely simple to um, insert that and make those uh, actually ready to go. So um, super happy with that. Thank you for showing me, the developer, that that's how you can set it. So you just click and you set whatever number you want. There is no click spot, so you don't know that you've clicked it, but as long as you've clicked the numbers, you really can't miss it. Um, it will switch over and you can use your keyboard. So that's cool. Um, that's awesome. I like that they've added that as well. So there we go. Cool. Sweet. That's all done. We're going to go to the info page now. We've got all of our V speeds here. Um, I'm going to uh, close this now and I'm going to load takeoff speeds. And if we come down here, we should see that our speeds have been set 126, 126, 137 in a VT, which means clean at 188. Beautiful. So that looks good. I'm happy with all of that. Let me, I just want to populate uh, this guy. We're going to save. Yep. And we're going to come back down here and close you. All right, let's go spend some time on the FMC. Let's go to our flight plan page. We're sitting on the ground here in Newark. We are going over to Cincinnati, KCVG. Good. Um, our flight number this afternoon is Endeavor, EDV. 30, sorry, 4931. Okay, we'll populate that. Good, we'll execute that. Wonderful. Let's go to our route menu. Go to company route, and we're going to look for Newark to CVG01, and we'll execute that. Cool, it's going to delete my flight number. That's fine. Endeavor 4130, sorry, 4931. Jeez. 4931. Okay, good. And we'll execute that. Uh, let's go to our departure page. We're planning for the Newark 4 departure out of 2 to right today. Uh, that is good. We'll go ahead and flight plan and execute that. Wonderful. Uh, we'll then go to the arrival page and winds in CVG currently. I'm just going to take a quick look here. CVG, KCVG. Winds are... It's a little bit loud in here. Let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. Uh, winds in CVG are 20017 gusting 28. My goodness, that's not very nice weather. Hopefully that calms down by the time we get there. 
Uh, we're going to be on the Gavin 6 arrival. The Gavin 6 with the Colnes transition. And with winds like that, I assume we're going to expect 18 right? If I had to take a guess, taxi, let me take a look at CVG. Uh, 18 left, sorry. 18 left. So we'll plan for the ILS 18 left. I'm just going to go to the approach page here. I'm just taking a brief look at Simbrief. ILS 18 left. And we want it from Sputter. All right. And we'll execute that. Cool. Let's go to our legs page. We'll scroll through here. We'll make sure that all of this looks good. Um, this is all set. This is all good. Uh, from Coles. Seems we have a discontinuity. So we'll bump you up. Actually, what we can do is we're going to go like this. We'll go to Stevie and back and put Stevie right there and execute that. And that looks good to me. It is an RNAV approach, so we can just go ahead and hit that in there like that. Cool. Sweet. I'm happy with that. That is all set. Um, wonderful. All happy with that. We'll go back to the... Um, trying to see. No, no. Okay. Speed and altitudes. Um, okay, cool. That's all set. I'm happy with all of that. Flight plan is set up in there. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this over to there. And we're going to bring our source down to five. Nav source should be on FMS one, which it is. Altimeter in Newark is, um, bear with me here. It's just, I don't know why it's saying 38,000 feet. We want to be at 32,000 with a step climb. I don't know. I think we're 32,000 feet the whole way. Um, all right, conditions, Newark. Um, 3032 on the altimeter. 3032. Cool. Okay, that's all set. I'm happy with that. Let's come down here. Let's start arming some things. Let's get our spoilers to the auto. We'll arm our reverse thrust. Anti-skid can go armed. Let's go to the overhead APU door. There we go, they flick, fix that as well. So the APU now says door open, and if we go outside and we come back here, we do see that the door is open. So there we go, they fixed that little issue that we saw, good. And we'll go ahead and fire up the APU. And if we come down here and we take a look, EGT is rising as well as RPM. Falco, what's up man, good to see you dude. How are you, how would I rate this plane? Uh, currently, probably a seven. Seven and a half, seven, seven and a half, probably about a seven. I don't want to say six and a half. I think six and a half is a little, six and a half, seven. If I'm being 100% dead honest with you, six and a half, seven. Once they get a custom FMC and they get this thing worked out a little bit better, probably going to go to a seven and a half. You know what I mean? Fire test on the APU. We could do that. I don't know if it actually works. Um... Doesn't look like it. Okay, you guys are on. APU is on and available. That's good. APU generator is on. We can come down here. We can go to the external power page. We're going to remove him. And we'll go to our doors page. And let's go ahead and close all of our doors. Where do you purchase this? This purchase for sale tomorrow. Tomorrow. And there we go. Everybody should be removed. We should be good to go. Um... We're looking good. Packs are off for now. Actually, we can get them on. We're on APU. I like the bigger fonts. Aerosoft has unreadable screens. Those are useless. Um, yeah. Yeah, I do like that. Coming from my experience working on the CRJ for three years. There you go, Austin. Very cool. Definitely uh, doesn't look as good as the Aerosoft, in my opinion. The fonts are way too big. Yes. Well, that's been done on purpose, uh, Austin. That's been done on purpose. The fonts have been made bigger on purpose. The developer has been very, very adamant that this was all done on purpose just for the fact that you can actually read it when you're sitting at the cockpit seat. So um, 
I somewhat agree with them. I do think that it's a nice addition. Um, but yeah. Does better pushback work with it? Yes, it does, man, of course. All right, let's start the pushback. Hey, Captain, let me know where you want this thing. Um, I assume we're going to go like this because we've got to stay in a little alleyway here at uh, Newark. So we'll go ahead and go like Great that. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. All right, beautiful. We're on APU. Gens are gone. We're all looking fine and dandy up there. Seatbelt signs are on and armed. Good. Uh, cruise altitude today is going to be 32,000 feet. So I'm just going to plug this in now. 32,000 feet. Good. We are in an RNAV departure, but I am going to go ahead and select runway heading, which is going to be 2 2. Uh, I think it's 2 2 0. We'll have to take a look. Go ahead and set that right now. Newark open. Um, runway heading for 2 2 right is 219. 219 on the runway heading. So there we go. 219 is in. Good. Cool. All right. We're all set up there. Happy with that? All right. Looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. The scenery is a bit heavy on FPS. Yes, it is. The scenery is. I mean, we're still getting 45. But yeah, I do get really good FPS in the airplane. Um, let me turn our screens on here. We got that winching strap and adapter hooked up. Go ahead and let go of the parking brake when you're ready for a push. Thank you. I want these on. I want a little bit of you on. Good. I want you on. A little bit of you on. Okay. Cool. Let's do it, friends. Park brakes released. Here goes the plane. Are they just doing a 700 or are they doing more? I have no clue. I have no clue, man. That's something you'll have to ask the developer on the forums. They have their own forums on the Explain org. Uh, AD simulations. Here comes you just the pushback. Light them up. You'll be able to uh, you'll be able to talk to them about that. Falco, thanks so much for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huh? Very well. Very weird, Falco. I'm not quite sure, man. Are the systems as high fidelity as the Aerosoft CRJ? Um, I'm not sure, Juan. How how? I mean, are the? I feel like the systems in this in the Aerosoft aren't really that high fidelity. They might be, but I feel like they're not. I don't know. What do I use for approach slash departure plates? Uh, Navigraph. Navigraph.com. Falco, thanks Currently for Currently having man. an issue with the 787. My rudder works, but I cannot turn my nose gear for some reason. I updated to as well. Currently running 1.7. I have no clue, man. I'm really not sure what's, what's causing that issue. Thank you for the five ball, man. Um, I'm sorry I can't be of, of better help, but thanks for support, man. I appreciate you. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Just playing for sale? Not quite yet. It will be on sale tomorrow morning, forty nine ninety Sounds. Do I have a Discord? I do! Exclamation point Discord in chat. I thought I was logged in, but apparently I'm not. So, I'm gonna tune ground. 21-8. Beta vectors park, then as filed. Climb via SID, except maintain 3,000. Expect flight level 200. One zero minutes Just after about departure. Done here. Go ahead and Squawk 2331. Park brakes on. And we're disconnecting the tow. Yes, Give me just a moment. Check your work for departure rate vectors park, then as filed. Climb via SID, except maintain 3,000. Expect flight level 200. One zero minutes after departure. And Squawk 2331 for maintain 1520. Back fifty twenty read back, correct?
Newark Ground, uh, Endeavor 4931. Sorry, man, I thought we were online. I didn't realize uh, we weren't online. We are now. We'd like to pick up our clearance into Cincinnati. We've uh, unfortunately pushed and start on Romeo Delta. Endeavor 4931, Newark Ground, cleared to the Cincinnati Airport. Newark 4 departure. Radar vectors park, then as filed, climb via SID, accept and maintain 3000. Signal and pin on the right, Departure take frequency it easy and have a safe one one nine point two. squawk 2355. Third in the Cincinnati, Newark 4, radar vectors park, climb via SID, accept maintain 3000, departure frequency 19.2, squawk 2355, Endeavor 4931. Endeavor 4931, read back correct. It is Romeo, expect 4 left, let me know when you're ready for taxi. Got Romeo, we're just going to reprogram for four left and we'll let you know things. Endeavor 4931. Okay, cool. So, uh, we need to change some things here. So, we're planning for uh, four left for departure on the Newark 4. So, we'll execute Mexico 872, Newark uh, Bound, legs page. to the Mexico City Airport via the Newark 4 departure. Radar vector is Lana, then it's filed. Good. Line via right, cool. SID, except I'm maintain 3000. Departure frequency 119.2, squawk 232. Okay, so um, let's quickly set some things up here. Uh, mock trims on. Let's go ahead and APU gen off. APU off. Engine ignition switch off. Windshield heat to high. Probe heats are on. Let's set our flaps to eight degrees. Okay, and the standard instrument departure on the Newark 4. It's going to be... Okay, left turn 290, maintain 3000. Okay, um, we're pretty much good to go here. Let's get the APU door closed. I survived closed, seatbelt, no smoking, that's all fine. Park brake on, okay, that's all fine. Um, trim value was 7, 8, that's all set. V speeds are set as well. Um, okay, cool, we're looking good. Okay, everything looks fine and dandy. I think we're okay here. Flight controls, we're looking good. All right, we'll let them know ready to taxi. Ground Endeavor 4931 with Romeo Radio Taxi 4 left. Endeavor 4931, runway 4 left. Taxi via Romeo Delta Bravo. Romeo Delta Bravo for Endeavor 4931. Okay, um, so we need to set our squat code here. It was going to be 2355. 2355. Good. And then you go to on. Okay, there we go. I see that mode C just went on on my thing. Cool. Park brake is released. Let's go, friends. And I'm going to turn on X camera, enable, and track air. All right, cool. He wants us Romeo, Bravo, Romeo, Delta, and then Bravo. Right turn on Bravo. All right, landing lights are coming on. The sounds are actually decent. Yeah, the sounds are really good. They're all F-mod sounds. They're really good. Sounds are definitely on point. Sounds are on point. The texturing's on point. Uh, flight model seems to be fun. I don't know if I would call it on point, but the flight model is definitely fun. Very sensitive to sound? Oh, so am I, dude. I'm a complete sound snob have to have decent sounds. 
The ultimate question is, is it better than the historic CRJ-200? Yes. That it definitely is. I would see myself flying this much more. Do they, um... The chrono button still doesn't work. Unless I'm supposed to hit it somewhere else, but... Pilots love to hate on the 200, but it flies a lot better than the 700 and the 900. This thing just, this thing is just a float master. That's what I've come to learn. These, these RJs, like, I feel like it's almost impossible to smash a landing in this thing. Just because of the way that it lands. Remember guys, if you're liking the content, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. Ground friction seems interesting still. Um, I think it requires a little bit to get going. Keep in mind though, we're pretty heavy, man. Like as far as RJs go and stuff like that, we're pretty damn heavy. You can only get one copy, either the Aerosoft or this one, which do you recommend? Uh, I don't want to be the one to make that decision for you, man. You're going to have to watch some videos and, and, and try and figure that out, buddy. I really don't know, man. That's affirmative. Let me know when you're ready for taxi. Okay. Devil 4931, contact the tower. 118.3, have a good afternoon. CRJ should break away with little to no thrust, even when heavy. It's so OP it doesn't need it. Interesting. Okay. You ever landed on a taxiway? No. I can tell the difference between a taxiway and a runway. Taxiways have big, orange, bold lines down them. If you're floating landings, uh, if you're carrying too much airspeed and power, you should be at VREF minus 5 at 50 feet EGL and power should be idle by 30. Uh, yes, I agree with you, Whiskey. That's what I've been doing. I've been idling at 30 and it seems to be very nice. I'm still floating it for about 11, 11 seconds. Just push this out on me. Yeah, that's at your discretion. Thank you. Ground 4931 is holding short for left at all valve. David 4931, contact tower, have a good flight. Tower, thanks for your team, we appreciate you. New York Tower, good afternoon, Endeavor 4931, Alpha, Alpha, short for left, ready for departure. Endeavor 4931, New York Tower, the wind 330 at 7 gust 1 4, runway 4 left, clear for takeoff. 4 left, clear for takeoff, Endeavor 4931. Joystick cams going on. Enjoy, friends. Now, the FPS was absolutely tanking yesterday looking this way. Hopefully it doesn't do the same now. All right, let's hit our takeoff switch. Take off is set. Oh shit. You know what I forgot to do though? Reselect runway heading. There we go. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Take off power set. Nose down pressure. Air speed's rolling. Eighty knots. At least the column. V one. Rotate. Pause the rate. Gear up.
Departure, we'll see you soon, Endeavor 3, uh, 4931. Our departure is 19-2. Let's go nav track. It's going to be a left turn. Departure wise doing that, we're going to make a left turn. Good afternoon, Endeavor 4931, 2600. Endeavor 4931, your departure, rear contact, turn left, heading 270, climb and maintain 10,000. Left 270 uh, and 10,000, Endeavor 4931. All right, bring our climb power in. Flaps are clean. Speed bug. that left turn going. is in. Alright, there's speed looking good. There's our heading 270. It's good. Pitch for climb. Alright, autopilot's going on. Bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Alright, cool. Nice departure. We're in the soup. Not bad at all. Can actually disconnect X camera. There we go. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, taxi lights off. Wing lights off. Twenty-five thirty-two. We'll see if uh, thanks for TC can double forty-nine thirty-one. New York Center. Good afternoon, Endeavor forty-nine thirty-one. 7,200 for 10,000. Never 3940, 4931 here. Center, hello, you put a Collins, climb and maintain for level 320. Collins 320, Endeavor 4931, thanks. 320 is in, let's go direct. Collins, damn. That's a, uh, that's a nice direct. Execute, nav mode, left turn, there she goes, flying like an RJ. How is she handling on the yoke? She feels really nice on the yoke, man. Really nice on the yoke, actually. Yeah. All right. Turn this all down a little bit now. Ready to rock and roll. Get well soon, Captain. El Haji Kane, thank you so much, dude, dropping a $20 donation. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. That's very, very kind. Very, very, very kind. Appreciate that. I flown a CRJ-700 last night. Calm winds, LAX to KSAN. The pilot did a float at least 10 seconds. Landed firm on the marks and set it to down the nose. Pretty solid. Nice. Yesterday's speed uh, mode completely leveled off at 10,000 when you accelerated. Wonder if it does that. It does, yes. Now, it shouldn't do that. So, I think, essentially, what you should do is you go vertical speed... You go 1,000 feet per minute, and then you bring your speed up to 290 knots. I think this is how you're probably supposed to do it. So vertical speed, 1,000 feet per minute, plug in your speed, the airspeed increases. And yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Man, what a direct too. Direct to Collins, crazy. Wing view? What an epic shortcut. The CRJ out now. It's out tomorrow, forty nine ninety five. Out tomorrow.
How's the flight compared to the... Well, you can't compare X-Plane flight model to Microsoft Flight Sim flight model. You can't do that. That's not fair. That's just not fair. Sounds on this are insane, dude. Insane. So good. All right, just monitoring some things here, friends. We're gonna flip that back to speed. Yeah, sixteen point nine. Airspace to the westward when center's offline. Try to get the Cesar terminated. Frequency change at Unicom is approved. Have a good day. So what level of A to aliasing? Four times FXAA and SMAA. Do I have ortho in this area? Yeah, it's all vertical sim V states. Okay. So we're looking good. Do these get disabled while in flight? I think they do. Hopefully we get better climb performance than yesterday. No worries, Mr. Polar. Thanks, man. We fly this plane on Thursday as well, most likely, yes. We'll see. We just did a week flying the CRJ in Microsoft Flight Sim as well, so I may do something different on Thursday. If I'm being honest with you, I kind of want to fly the Q400, if I'm being 100% honest. Kind of want to fly the Q4. I missed that plane. Are we climbing at 1,800 feet per minute, or we just were? Do you have all of the U.S. covered in ortho? I do, yes. Yeah, I, do. I do, I do. The Q400 was the release of the year, to be honest. It's such a great plane, man. Hey, Cap, can you do a flight for tomorrow? No flight tomorrow, my friend. We are going to be giving away a copy of this airplane, though. Not today, but on a... On a future stream, we're going to be giving away a copy of this once it's released. This climb rate will never make it to cruise. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. The climb rate seems to be a little bit... Uh, I don't know if there's like too much drag on the aircraft or something like that, but... I feel at 18,000 feet... It should be uh, climbing more than 1,300 feet per minute. Should 100% climbing like a rocket still? Yeah. I think something's a little bit off with the with the climb rate. I'm 
what is the gross weight? Um, I'm not sure, but I'm also looking at like the fuel seems to be constantly balancing itself. How do you turn that off? with the fuel it's like constantly it's still a bug okay I'm wondering if that's what's affecting the climb rate though because it's constantly changing the weight and balance X flow auto override so it was still pumping it to Okay, there we go. Let's turn that off. Let's see if that increases climb rate a little bit. Not really affecting the climb rate at all. American 1520, climbing 10,000. American 1520, New York Center, hello, you're correct, Sarah, climbing to maintain from level 200. Two thousand feet, but yeah, that's usually what the climb is. All right, four, It seems to have trouble climbing over like fifteen thousand feet. Q400s, one of my favorite planes for sure. So beautiful. Nasty headwind on route two. Actually, right now it's like a quartering headwind at least. American 1263, New York Department, New York Center, radar contact, I'm going to maintain 15,000. Let me maintain 15,000, American 1263. Golf, 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 Zulu, New York Center, hello. Uh, maintain VFR, the trend altimeter 290. Status page, yeah. Oh wait, uh, sorry, say your call sign again, Alpha Fox right next to Okay, um, Alpha Fox right actually 44 Juliet, heavy, oh, Concord heavy, hello. How much, um, uh, fly heading two, hard drive space does V-States take up quite a bit? Yeah, I lost from the way 3-1, uh, left approach. Can I ask where there's no cam? Just no cam today, man. It'll be runway 3-1 left. We don't need to get into details over and over and over again. If you missed the explanation at the beginning of the stream, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, Golf, 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 Zulu, New York Center, hello, maintain VFR, the trend altimeter 2983. Alpha Fox, right, X-ray 44, Juliet, heavy, decent to maintain 3,000, the Kennedy altimeter 2982. 
You know, I used to work on Delta Connections. Packing these planes was a nightmare. So small places. The luggage, I hated this plane, but the 900 and the 200 were, were amazing to pack. Interesting. V states is 1.6 terabytes. Is that it? Packed or unpacked? I feel like that's packed. Unpacked, it's much more than that. Scroll into the status page? I don't, what do you mean? Like, step down, you mean? Concord 44 Juliet Heavy, turn left heading 220. This is vectors for your descent. Have a custom FMC, it does not. Nice, Logan, sweet dude. Sonny, take care, man. What are we climbing at? 700 feet per minute right now. Struggle's real. Hey, Cap, I'm trying to do some interesting flights. Um, what would you have that you recommend? Any Alpha of the Fox flights, man. Any. Four, four, Julian, heavy turn right, heading 340. Join the runway 31 left localizer. Join those uh, Again with those lights, we just forgot to do them. Nothing to see here. Alpha Fox Show X ray Concord four four Juliet. This playing a good bang for the buck. I think so at the price tag. It's gonna be forty nine ninety five. I think it's worth it at that price tag. Golf, 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 Zulu, you clip into the Philadelphia class Bravo airspace, maintain VF water blow 3,500. Golf, golf, Zulu. Uh, we got no one in the tower right now, but I am covering the tower. Um, so I can get you whatever runway you'd like. Do you have a uh, runway for me? What product can you uh, compare yeah, you the FPS? Expect, uh, right, if you like. <coughs> it's almost as good as the Tolis. Not quite Tolis level, but close. It's close. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Left is this the CRJ? Uh, new it is, Bohari, my friend. Good to see you. American 1263, would you like a shortcut today? Alpha Fox Road, X-ray Concord 4, 4 Juliet Heavy, the wind 32013, runway 31 left, put on it. American 1263, New York. Which preset is this? Uh, it's style number one, but edited. New York, good afternoon, Navy on 9 with Make you. the clouds a little bit whiter. It's available on my Discord. Hello, squawk 7132. 7132, Navy on I'm not sure, Russ. Never really flown either. Navia 9, your radar contact, just north of Gedek at flight level 200. Welcome aboard. Alright, 
All right, we should flip it into mock hold now. Papa Uniform Alpha 1488 New York Center. You're actually above my airspace. I don't own that airspace over there. You can stand in it. I'm happy to play. Alright, so they know about the the bug with the climb. They're fixing okay, that Gulf for Gulf release. The Bravo. Uh, actually, proceed direct the field now and maintain uh, 3,500, please. Hey, Chef, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Is that the default FMS? Okay, it is, sorry, yes. No maintain VFR out or below 3,500. It did is. Although it's been modified to offer some, some different stuff, but it is, yes. Lufthansa 044 New York Center, hello, Ida. What are your thoughts on this plane? Um, I think right now I'd probably give it about a six and a half, seven. Um, it's got it's got all the makings to be a good plane. It just needs some more work. Um, and I think if if you're interested in a CRJ, you want you want a little regional jet to fly an X plane. I would say it's probably worth it. Um, just keep in mind that it's a you know it's a very small developer and, and things are going to get done. You know they're 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 relying on a lot of, of a lot of feedback based from us a lot of feedback on on what needs to be changed and what needs to be fixed so that's good they're they're you know it seems like they want to be working on the plane and making it better i would say six and a half seven probably leaning towards the six and a half right now i think once we get some of the other bugs updated i think we're going up to a seven and a half eight yeah erj 145 or this tough call depends man depends what you like if you're more somebody who enjoys flying a, a an, an RJ, this is definitely it, like a, a CRJ. You'd like to see passengers? Passengers are planned on being added in. Yes, they do plan on modding, modeling passengers. Not good. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. What scenery are you using for New York City? It's Drzecki Design. You can put exclamation point scenery in chat, Yaroslav. Or check the link in the description. Alpha, Alpha Foxtrot, X-Ray, Concord, 44 Juliet Heavy, you can taxi. To they the say what time the release is tomorrow? Uh, just morning, I believe, is what they told me. Thank you. Bye. What's the next plane to release after this? Probably either the MD-11 or a PMDG coming out of left field with theirs. Yeah, I, I can I can agree with you there, Benjamin. It's it's kind of yeah. I totally get that, man. I really do. Lufthansa 044, your radar contact at flight level three nine zero. Welcome aboard. Thank you. American 1263 New York. 1263, go ahead. Hey, would you like a shortcut today? Yeah, we could take that. American 1263, your clear direct few, F-E, triple W. I feel like it's better than those offerings, Volker, in my opinion. Where'd you take the ortho from Europe? Uh, ortho for XP, probably Bing. It's a tough call, Kalmo. They're both for different simulators, right? So I think it really depends.
Hey there, in the Microsoft Flight Simulator community folder, can I just remove a folder whenever I want to without it or doing anything? Uh, you can, yeah. You don't really have to though, George. gonna hand us off here in a second. Endeavor 4931, you'll leave my airspace to the south. Washington's offline. Our dish services are terminated. Monitor Unicom. Have a good flight and thanks for flying. 122.8, thanks for uh, hopping on. Give us ATC, man. Appreciate that. We'll see you soon. Endeavor 4931. Take care, buddy. Alright. There we go. On to Unicom. I'm gonna take a quick little water break. Give me a second here, guys. Just gonna grab some water. Green Flight Factor 777v2 will be released before the end of the year. I have no clue. Boris, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you? Called into work today. Told him I have to watch Captain Canada. Let's butter this bird. <laughs> Captain DS, how are you, my man? Good to see you, dude. He got Aerofly FS is getting a new version of a 7.8, a CRJ900, and Europe will all be added. Very cool, man. Nice. Enjoy it. <clears throat> does it have a modeled cabin? It does. Yes. A little bumpy up here. What do I mean PMDG for explain? Who said that? Duels, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Captain, how are you and Daisy uh, doing? Can we give her uh, a treat -o? She's sleeping. She's passed out on the couch. English Boris, please. Which aircraft would you prefer to be released? The PMDG 7.3 or the Phoenix A320? Probably the 7.3. What FPS counter do I use? That's through Steam. English and chat, guys, please. English and chat.
I don't like that it's barely getting to 32,000 feet, though. What are my settings? Uh, just down from uh, high. Everything's pretty much set on high. Said PMDG for X Plane. When someone asked what plane is coming to X Plane following the CRJ, you answered MD11 or PMDG. Uh, MD11 for X Plane, PMDG for Microsoft Flight Simulator. PMDG 737. Yesterday's livery was very cool. The, um, the Battlestar. United, it is one of my favorite liveries for sure. What if I just increase the throttles? That'll get us there. All right, 31,000 feet, nice. Oh, CRJ 900 on Friday, Delta Comfort Plus, nice. Um, I don't think you can, David, to be honest with you. They're two different simulators, right? One is also a very big company. Alright, there's 32,000 feet. Let's watch our speed, see what it does. We're getting absolutely slammed by a quartering headwind right now. That's never fun. Does this have cruise auto throttle? It does not, Motley. No, the CRJs don't have an auto throttle. You're gonna have to constantly make small little adjustments. Have you seen the 650 by Hot Start looking very good? Like their TBM 900? Yep. Yep, it's just, yeah, it's unfortunate that it's a 650 and I probably won't fly it all that much, but it does look good. Yeah. You guys know me, I'm not really a business jet type guy. Dave, what's up, man? Right, Harry? Guys, please, only English and chat. We're going to have to start timing people out. We're not paying attention. English and chat, please. flying on Sunday in and out of DTW. I will be operating several Delta Connection flights. Keep an ear out for Captain Zach. There you go. Natural Born Keeler, what's up, man? Good to see you, Mr. Geo. What's up, man? How are you, dude? So model release brats are just desperate to get a nice CRJ tomorrow, Edgar. Tomorrow it's releasing. I'm flying from CTL to Atlanta on a Delta CRJ 900. Very cool. You got some turkey this week. That's right. It's American Thanksgiving, isn't it? This weekend coming up. Nice. You have some cool CRJ 700 Lufthansa liveries. Yes. Lufthansa. Huskers, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you?
deliveries does it come with? Uh, Delta, Lufthansa, Air Canada, I don't know, a house CRJ, a couple other ones. Uh, this is V-States, yeah. Yeah, Jerry Liver would be awesome. I think they have one, Edgar. I'm pretty sure. Watching the ATS vis, uh, vid Jeff put out now. Uh, I need to jump on ATS myself. The engine sounds. Uh, yeah, dude, they're awesome. Yeah. In your opinion, how's the F mod on this aircraft? Sounds great, Devin. Sounds great, man. Lutenza only operates the 900. Really? I didn't know that. Wait a second. I knew it, dude. We're not on live weather. Now we're on live weather. Windsor 320 at 11. Six right. I think you're pretty much there, Devin. I mean, some performance tweak needs to be done with the, um, you know, with the climb profile. And I don't like that you can't set your flex temperature. So you're kind of, you're kind of stuck with whatever flex and whatever, whatever thing they give you. But yeah. Wisconsin CRG 200 flights for me tomorrow. Move it up in the world. Nice, Will. Sweet, dude. wind is absolutely annihilating us. What the 
fuck is this? So from AJ, she says, to me. says from AJ, we need radar vectors. Should be AJ to Kai Cat. That cleans that up a little bit better. He kept just running. Uh, what is the comparison of view counts for x to Microsoft Flight Simulator? Uh, they're both pretty even. Depends. Okay, we got that in there now nicely the way that we want. Okay. So we need to be at Gavin for 10,000 feet. Do for X-Plane overall in general? I like both sims, man, to be honest with you. I like both sims, dude. I don't think I have really a preference. I like anything where I can fly my simulators, my planes. What is the release you're most hyped for? Probably the PMDG for Microsoft Flight Sim. It was the Q400 by FlyJ Sim. Uh, which I still love that plane. We're probably going to jump back in next week, actually. Um, but then, yeah, probably the uh, probably the PMDG 7.3, the Rotate MD-11 as well. Pretty excited for that one. Uh, Pilot Sammy, I, I think if you're just getting into simulators, I'd probably suggest Microsoft Flight Sim. If you're just getting into simulators, you have a decent computer, a good internet connection. Is the new Aerosoft CRJ worth? Uh, that's up to you, man. It's really up to you. Great seeing you on the Blue Experience. Hopefully, I'll get together again. Duels, thanks, man. Glad you enjoyed it. How far into the flight are we? Just about halfway. See how we've got that little banner up top? It shows you exactly how far along in we are. It's definitely an interesting time for x -Plane with all the releases of the near future. Yep, I agree, man. I agree.
Do you have the Continental Connection Colgan livery for the Q400? Um, I don't know. I'll have to check. Stretch that back out, dude. It's killing me right now, man. I'm not even kidding. I'm struggling sitting in this chair right now. It hurts. Head back surgery and you feel pretty good. Lucky you. Or unlucky you. He got Popa as well. I was wondering if Microsoft Flamer is good on the new Xboxes. I've never flown it. Good friend of the channel and streamer Chewy94 over on Twitch. He um he has been playing it on his Xbox, or he had before. He seemed to enjoy it. Stealth, you're making no sense with your comments, man. It's literal just gibberish. What are you trying to say? What breed is Daisy and how long have I had her? She is a half lab, half Rottweiler. Had her for about four years now. Mary Horror, my friend, good to see you. I bought a pilot shirt with the real stripes. Nice. Enjoy that, man. Thank you, Daniel. Alfie, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Hope you're having a great afternoon or evening. Anything at 2070 would perform on Microsoft Flight Simulator. I got a gig per second, but I'm not sure my setup can handle it. You should be good, Devin. Yeah. Do you have a secret auto throttle version of this plane since it doesn't have one IRL? I do not, no. What are my specs? Exclamation point specs in chat. What's up, Sean? How are you, dude?
absolutely will. Less, less is bad though. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, you have to, uh, you have to manually manage your speed. Yes. How do you update the Tolus products? Um, they have the X updater or the newest 340 uses the Skunk Craft updater. Caparista got the Bravo throttle, uh, but there are some things I don't set up from profiles downloaded from the forums. Do you have custom presets for the plane like the Q4XP and the Zebo? Uh, kind of, yes. Of all the mods, what do I recommend? The A3 2NX and the Pushback Helper mod. Those are the two best mods. CVG Cincinnati Need some icy hot, right? good jets are just a little bit annoying more than anything i just constantly have to like you know i'm sitting in like an awkward position which is probably making it worse but it's all right we'll get through today Dude, thanks for support, my friend. I appreciate you. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jetstar. I appreciate you as well, man. Give me do any shared cockpit streams. I always thought of doing a shared cockpit in the 747-200 would be amazing. Um, Matt, I've done a few. The software that we have right now is just not the best. I'm really waiting for something to come out Hope that's better. Hope your back feels better soon, Cap. Keep stretching. Thanks, Ev, dude. I appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you, sir. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Very kind. Let's get some love in chat for Ev, dude. Dropping the five bomb. Thank you, my friend. Just 
Is Microsoft Flight Simulator Sierra J or this one better? Uh, Colin, I don't think you can really compare, to be honest with you. Two completely different simulators, right? I don't, I don't think it's fair to... I think you'll have to make the decision on your own which you think is better. Um, if you're going just based off, like, future tech and um, probably has a little bit more to offer, I would probably say the Microsoft Flight Simulator route. The CRJ, you know, from Aerosoft comes with f four versions of the plane. You get the 550, the 700, the 900, the 1000. The EFB and um, everything about the, the Aerosoft one is is pretty damn nice. So, yeah. The exterior is beautiful in this in this jet. Yes, absolutely. Texturing is, is on point on this aircraft for sure. How is SSG compared to the X-Craft 195, 175? Any of those still worth it in your opinion? Uh, not really. None of them are really worth it. Try out the River Visual and the American Airlines livery soon in this bad boy. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. I guess this will be payware. I'm trying to look at some stuff up, but I can't find much on it. Um, yes, this will be payware. It's supposed to release tomorrow for uh, $49.95. That's the price tag. Do you prefer the, I prefer the EFB, Yaroslav. Captain Microsoft Cinema, do you think it's good RTX on or, or no RT? It won't. It won't take RTX. Heard that? No. How are you, Mr. Mobar? Well, thanks for the support, my man. I appreciate that, dude. Four months. The Oracle of Flight Sim. Many months to come. Thanks, Will. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for the kind words, dude. You want a cabin tour? Yeah, we can do a cabin tour.
It's good. Okay, let's do some math here. We need to be at 10,000 for Gavin. Uh, it means we need to lose 21,000 feet. 21,000 feet at... Twenty-one times three. Sixty-three miles. So about sixty miles out from Gavin we want to start the descent. Canada Airliner. Come with a ten dollar donation. Thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, Hello, man. boss. Hello. Hope everyone in Ottawa is doing well, my friend. Does the CRJ work with Librain? Take care. That's a good question. I do not know. I know that the wipers work. I'm not sure, though. I know the wipers work. Thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. So top of descent's in about 50 miles or so. Still have the man X flow enabled on the overhead. You have a caution message. Yes, I do agree. Have someone. Ortho looks just much better than the vanilla autogen, especially for VFR flying. Orbex Canary Islands are just stunning in a Cessna 172 or a heli. Very cool, Volker. All good with the car. Yep, all is good, Mopar. Just put the winters on. The winters on and change the headlight and an oil change. But I fucked up my back. Carrying the tires from my storage shed to the car and then carrying my summers from my car to the storage shed. I fucked up my back. It hurts. What car do I drive? My baby. My little baby.
John Lavcourt, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, dude. How are you? I'm going to text you later. I have an idea for the winters. Okay. Um, no, I drive a 2005 Acura RSX Type S. baby that I was ready to let go great year for cars the 05s I don't know, Will. Hopefully in the morning, yeah. No, it's a two-door. Yeah, I don't know. 9685, not sure. Seventy-eight Volvo with six hundred thousand miles. Damn. You have an 05 as well. There you go. Oh, very nice. What is the speed in Mach numbers? We're doing Mach 0.75. We have a crushing headwind, though. Our ground speed is only 368 knots. We should be up in the 400s. What is ground speed? It's the, your air speed relative to your wind. So over the ground, so we have an indicated air speed, or a true air speed of 438 knots. But because of the headwind, our ground speed, so across the ground, we're going 368 knots. Uh, Will, it turns on by itself. The half bank, uh, above a certain altitude, it turns on. Hey, Cap, every time I land in Atlanta, my simulator always crashes. I've tried updating it and everything, and it never works. Any advice on, on this is it's a Nimbus Atlanta as well. Tim, does it crash when you remove the scenery? Try removing the scenery and, and landing. I know it sucks, but try, try removing the scenery, maybe doing some circuits. See if it acts the same. Logan, thanks, man. Three months. About to do CVG to Denver. See you on the ground. Thanks so much, Logan. Three months. My man, thanks for the continued support, sir. I appreciate you, as always. Thanks so much, Logan. Enzo, awesome, man. Glad we could do that. You climb to a higher altitude for less wind. Doesn't really work like Great that Great job months. streaming, Kyle. Thanks. Arb, thanks so much for the support, my friend. I appreciate you. Huge no floaties to you, sir. Thank you very, very much for the contribution to the channel. I really, really do appreciate that. Thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Does this plane automatically pick up BioLS, or do you have to put the frequency in a course number like a 7-3? Uh, Biggie, you have to actually even go further. You have to select the nav source. This is like old school to the point where you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pick your nav source. 
So you actually have to remove your nav source over the localizer, but yes, you do have to put in your own frequencies. Um, speaking of which, we should probably do that right now, because we're going to be starting our descent here momentarily. So the ILS frequency for 36 right is 110.35, and we're going to need a front course of 006. So you actually do that in here, you go to the uh, radio page, uh, 110.35, which we just put in, and we need 006. We'll plug that in there. Beautiful. All right, and if we go back to our likes page, we are 32 miles out, which puts us about 60 miles. We're 59 miles or 69 miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 10,000 feet. 10,000 feet, and I'm going to start my descent at about 2,000 feet per minute. And I'll monitor that. And we'll pull our power back here a little bit. Look to maintain about 280, 290 knots through the descent. Does the plane have an auto throttle? No, they don't. Hello from Switzerland. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. I like how it's drawing that circle around. They said they removed that, but clearly not. Uh, Matthias, I think it really depends, man. I think they're both good airplanes. You probably get more features, more bang for your buck, if you will, with the Aerosoft version, just because you get more variants of the airplane. You get a little bit cleaner PFD style or something like that. So yeah. Is the speed brake deployed? Nope. No need for that. Just need to watch our descent speeds, that's it. I'd like to see them implement the banana so we can kind of see when our descent is coming up. That would be awesome. Arm our reversers. What runway for landing? Three six right. Might have to do YYC with CYVR in this bird. Oh baby. Sucks Air Canada doesn't operate the 700. They only do the 200 and the 900, but... CYYC to PDX is a legit CRJ route. There you go. The Aerosoft one auto-tunes the frequencies? Yes. Brakes? What settings do you land on? There's no auto brake on this. No auto brake on the RJ. Manual braking. 900s look funny. They're very long. Even in person, man, they look, they're like super long. Elongated, if you will. Kind of weird. Longer than a 320? Uh, I don't think so. A 900 is longer than a 320? No. Go to Atlanta after? We are, yeah. Exclamation point scenery 2 jet. Does auto tune the ILS frequency? No, not that I've seen pilot. No, I've had to manually insert it. The 900 has an auto brake option. Interesting. Didn't know that.
How does it compare to the J Rollon? I mean, it's it's definitely advanced, far advanced than the J Rollon. That's for sure. Jerkman X One Eleven. If you already own Microsoft Twenty Twenty, tough call. I'd probably say wait for the new version of X Plane to release. X Plane Twelve. Do you think that the Xcraft E-Jets family V2 will live up to the hype? I hope so, Devin. I hope so, man. I've, I've actually been kind of looking forward to learning an E-Jet. I'm not the biggest fan of the 175s, 190, 195, but my God, they are so widely used here in, in Canada and in other parts of the world, so yeah. Hey, Cap Hope all as well. I'll be joining on the leg to Atlanta. Sweet. Alright, winds are 320 at 11 knots, altimeter is 3014. Um, that's it, partly cloudy. Which we're looking at right now. Alright, so we're 20 miles out. Need to lose 9,000 feet. Not bad. We're going to send it about 2,400 feet per minute. When are you hopping in the 742 again? Not sure, Steel. Not sure, man. Somebody was asking me that the other day, and I, I just basically the way that I like it. I have. I don't know what it is, but I have a problem getting motivated to fly those older airplanes. Same as like the 727, the same as those airplanes. Like I, I really do enjoy those airplanes. I just, for whatever reason, I just get ex it's un extremely unmotivated to fly them. I think it's just like the extra added workload. It's just, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I think it's that, and I think it's the fact that I'm just such a modern type of jet guy. Like I love... I love my system depth, and I love I love looking at glass screens, and you know some people say it's boring, but this is you know the type of flying that I that I I prefer, you know. Heard that hot start CL650 is close to release. There you go. Looks promising. views, man. Cap, are you going to try the F-16 block uh, 52 amazing plane? Ah, uh, not really interested, man. Feel the same way at larger jets in general. I love regionals and midsize. There you go. Yeah. Mopar, take care, my friend. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friend. Free the perfect cockpit has both a mix of analog and digital. There you go. I'm going to start pulling the power here a little bit. We are 10 miles from Gavin. Looks like we're going to hit our, our restriction. Be really close. Favorite cockpit setup is a DC-9 in the 80s. There you go. Which plane would you like to see an X-plane that we don't have yet? An A220 would be awesome. Love to see somebody do an A220. A good 787, I think, is really needed as well. We've got Flight Factor making a 787, so... I've got my uh, I've got my hopes high with that one. I hope I hope Flight Factor is able to uh, you know bring that airplane to life. Uh, but yeah, an E220 would be absolutely awesome. We got a beautiful Q400 now. Flag guy, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Yeah, there's a freeware A220 in development. Like I said, I'm not, you know, I don't want to take away from, from a freeware project or anything like that. But I just, I have a hard time getting excited. Um, do you know how many freeware projects have been announced for Microsoft Flight Simulator? I mean, we're going to like, you know, hundreds, if not thousands already of freeware projects have been, that have been announced. And it's not that I have, uh, all right, so we're about 1,500 feet. We're a mile, a mile out from Gavin. 
and we're at 11,500. So not bad planning our descent. We're about 1,500 feet too high. So not bad at all. So next time we'll probably do a descent at about 2,200 feet per minute. That's what we're going to aim for. Um, speed's coming back nicely. We're going to look for 250 at 10,000. From 10,000 feet... Sorry, guys. I know we were just talking, but I got to brief the approach here. Um, from 10,000 feet, we can honestly... We have to intercept Kayat at 7,000. So I'm actually going to come down here. I'm going to go direct. And we're going to go to Kayat. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to execute that. The airplane's going to follow that. We need to be at 7,000 for Kayat. So there's 10,000. Let's chill here for a sec. We'll wait till we're about 20 miles out. We'll keep our speed at 240. Speeds at 240. We'll keep that there. There's 10,000 feet. We'll get all of our lights on. We'll pause the music after this song. We'll get fully set up for arrival. Are we there yet? Soon, man. I know the headwind's a killer, dude. Listen, originally I wanted to do Newark to um, to Cincinnati, Cincinnati to Omaha, but the flight it, we would have been here till seven o'clock at night with these headwinds. It's just crazy. So that's why we switched it down to Atlanta. What'd you have for breakfast this morning? I made some potatoes with eggs and uh, bacon. And a bagel. Airplane sounds make me feel like I'm in a real jet. They are very nice sounds, yeah. They are nice sounds. We're going to go on heading select. We're going to flip our nav source over to FMS. Or sorry, to uh, nav one. Take it down to 7,000 initially. Actually, we're going to aim for 6,000. So 1,000 feet per minute. Let you guys get fully immersed in the sounds here. How do you know how to fix your altitude on the CRJs? Where is it? Um, you have to always have your charts open, my friend. Yeah, charts are going to be your best friend. JJ, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's crazy, Bo. Yeah. A220s are cool. Uh, looks like a mouse, kind of like the B146. They're nicknamed the mouse. Interesting. What city am I in? real life or in the simulator right now we're flying to cbg um cincinnati all right minimums are going to be 200 good
speed's getting a little away from us, 260 knots. Cap, why can't you fly Microsoft 2020 777 200? You need to try the GE 40 engines. Uh, I'm not paying money for that, dude. I'm not supporting that type of behavior in the flight sim community. I'm not, I'm not paying somebody for a 3D external model that looks like a 777 and that's about it. No, no, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'll wait for a proper one to release. When does this plane come out? The release is tomorrow, apparently. Tomorrow. Favorite aviation movie? Probably Pushing Tin. About the life of an air traffic controller. Great movie if you've never seen it. But like, I don't really have a favorite aviation movie, to be honest with you. Like, that's just... I'm a fan of the movie because it's cool to see the air traffic side of stuff. No camera today, no. See the movie Flight? I love that one too. Yeah, it's a good movie. Denzel. So localizer's alive. We're good to hold 6,000 feet here. Top Gun was a good movie too, but again, I'm not really into that whole mill sim type stuff. It's just not really my... Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know I have anything against it. It's just not my, uh, you know, not what I enjoy. Okay, so accordingly, if I go load landing speeds, um, my landing speed, hold on, what did he say? I have to look here what he said. about 132 knots on the approach. How is this compared to the Aerosoft? Um, I don't think it's fair to compare them. Again, two different simulators. Right? So, did I uh, blow us through? Probably, yeah. That's my bad. I'll grab the approach, but I blew it through. That's not the airplane. That's on me. I don't know, for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to look down there and start planning that. Ground is on at CVG. Uh, you are correct. 21-7. We'll call him when we're vacated. Thank you for the heads up. Glide slopes captured as well. All right, start pulling back the power. Said we're going to plan for about 130 knots on the approach speed. Good. Cool. Let's go flaps one. Animations are really nice too. I think they look great. Alright. Flaps eight degrees. 
Now we'll keep our speed on track. We want to keep about 190 knots. We're 14 miles out. So no need to get the gear down quite yet. Probably actually didn't need to get. I'm just going to pretend I didn't do that. Keep 210 knots in for now. No de-icing today? You are correct. Alright, 11 and a half miles. Keep our speed up in case there's anybody behind us. You don't want to get too slow. I've seen some people, they're like fully configured at 10 miles and it's like, oh my god, what if somebody was behind you doing 200 knots and you're fully configured at 10 miles? I say the rule of thumb for me personally, I am fully configured by five miles. Apparently in the real world, they leave it till about like three and a half, four miles. I think you're fully configured. Now, again, we're not we're not burning real fuel in the simulator, so we're not really concerned about that, right? So, all right, there's nine and a half miles. Let's get flaps eight degrees. Let's pull the power back now. Let's start dropping the gear, get that ready to go. 2500. There's the 2500 foot call out. All is good. Speed's coming back nicely. Let's start getting fully configured. We'll maintain 170 knots until five mile final. We're eight and a half miles now. Let's go flaps 20 degrees. Nice balloon effect with that one. There's 170 knots, so we'll add some power back in. Try and keep 160, 170 knots, still five miles. I'm gonna turn my track IR back on. All right. All right, let's get fully configured, five and a half miles. Let's go flaps 25 our speed back down for about 129 knots on the approach and we'll go flaps 30 and flaps full I believe it's 45 degree angle All right, thousand foot call outs coming up here enjoy the arrival guys my airplane see you down on the ground All right, landing checklist, gears down, three green, flaps are full, spoilers are armed, auto brake is set, cabin crew, sorry, there's no auto brake. Um, cabin crew's advised, you guys have been advised. Let's do this, friends. Speed looks good. Nice little wind shift update there on us. Feels nice, flies really nice. It's got some weight to it. Doesn't feel like a Cessna. You know my biggest complaint when some of these aircrafts come out, they end up feeling a little bit like a Cessna. This one does not feel like a Cessna. Got some weight to her. Nice little crosswind right now. Nose down gently. Applying a little bit of brake. Decelerating. 80 knots. Reverser stowed. 
Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CBG. Release the column, we'll vacate to the left. Oh my. Well, you can tell a little bit of practice. A little bit of practice went into that. Ooh, baby. Clean up our flaps. Just gonna contact ATC here. Give me a sec. I'll bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Ground, good afternoon. Endeavour 4931's vacated on Tango 6. Parking via Tango and Tango 7, next to ATC, we'll see you soon. Uh, Endeavor 4931. Nice landing, Cap. Thank you. Alrighty, let's get our... Sorry, I'm just going to turn. Oops, sorry. Oh, I missed it. Alright, let's get our landing lights off. Taxi light on. Strobe lights off. APU door open. United 526, looking for clearance up to Denver as filed. Well. 526, and so you're right. Hello. Is this the last leg? No, we're going to Atlanta. That was a nice, uh, that was a nice arrival, though. Felt good. Cut the power at 30 feet. Spool up the APU. Alrighty, so a squawk is 3756, United 526. Air 526, three back is correct. This is a zero discretion, expect to set. Actually, Alright, flaps are up, spoilers are up. Everything looks good. Jen is on. And ground off for United 526. Did you say runway 27 for departure? Yeah, 526 in front. Expect 27. Copy, thank you. All right, now the real flight went into Bravo 19, which is on the other side here. Still technically get Bravo 19. She need to make a left here. Am I doing a Thanksgiving stream? Thanksgiving's on Sunday, correct? I believe so, yeah. bit darker because the um, the windows have like a shade on them they have like a tint so they have like a little blue tint so it's replicated in here Thursday okay yeah, we're doing a stream Thursday Okay, we need Bravo 19. 23, 21, 19. Alright, cool. Don't mind me. Taxing all over the place. I'm gonna be right beside that Sky Team. Taxi lights off.
Yes, Canadian Thanksgiving has already passed. No worries, Danielle. No worries at all, man. I just looked and I wanted to try and replicate where the real aircraft went. This guy's drunk. I'm gonna taxi us off the line. Make a set. APU is on. Gens are on. Engine number one is off. Engine number two is off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into CVG. Red beacon light is off as well. Cody, thanks for support, my man. Up into first class. Huge enough floaties to you, sir. Thank you very much for supporting the channel, man. I appreciate that. Good to see you back, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. All right. Well, there we go, friends. We made it. Down into CVG in one piece with a greasy butter, too. My goodness. That was a great flight. Great landing. Nicely done. All right, let's take a look at some replays here quickly, shall we? Disconnect from the network. Toggle replay mode. We'll back this sucker up. We'll take a look at this arrival in. And we'll see if she looks as pretty on the outside as we thought she did coming in. It was some nice, like we had a nice like crosswind going on too. It was quite nice. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I enjoyed it. Some nice crosswinds pushing us. And when you're in the RJ, the crosswinds are crazy, man. Cut the power, cut the power. Loaded in nicely. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hold that center line. The replay, uh, the spoilers are bugged on replay. Just keep that in mind. Oh, my goodness. That was so smooth. So smooth. Couldn't be any better than that, my friends. I don't think we could have done it any better than that. That's how you want to land those RJs. Beautiful. I sure hope so, Yeti. They know that it's there, so yes. A little bit long, but we kept it at 10 seconds. No more than 10 seconds. Still very, very much in the touchdown zone. Like the reverse. Uh, looks good. Let's watch some wing views. Why? Hello? Can I not? Thank you. No flare? Uh, have you seen an RJ? There's there's flare, but it's just very minimal flare. It's a CRJ, man. They, they land almost flat. Minimal, minimal to no flare in the RJs. Oof, the two-year badge. Hell yeah, Cody. Looking good, my man. Looking good, dude. Oh, man, that was smooth as butter. The only way you knew we were down is because the wings started shaking. It's the only way you knew we were down.
Thanks, Peter. I appreciate that, man. How do you get badges? You have to become a member. Who kissing that runway? Man, you didn't even know we were down. All right, guys, I'm going to play uh, replay this view for you here coming in. And uh, Sin City, 37 months up in first class. My man, huge note floaties to you. Thank you very, very much, dude. All right, guys, appreciate you, Cody and Sin City Simulations. You guys are absolutely awesome, man. Three years, dude. Absolutely nuts. All right, guys, I'm going to get set up for a second leg into Atlanta. I will see you guys all here in about five minutes. Enjoy the replay.
Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. Second leg, Cincinnati to Atlanta. Flight time of about an hour. We are Endeavor 1306. This is operated by 7.5s and 7.37s, but we're going to pretend for the sake of it. we got a connection, Delta connection. Pretty sure they used to operate this. I'm pretty sure I've seen some flights operated in the RJ, but that's okay. We're going to the home base of Atlanta. We'll pretend we're taking this to do some maintenance. So welcome back, friends. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's jump inside the aircraft. Let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll. We're heading into Atlanta. First thing is first, let's go to the overhead. Let's get our master battery switch on. Let's turn all of our sounds up here as well. Good. We'll get our external power on and available. Mute all those guys. Good. Um, cool. Let's get some lights on in here. Let's do our flows. Fuel pumps stay off for now. Recirc fans are on. Cold air is on. Window heats to low. Uh, no smoking on. Seatbelt on. Emergency lights armed and on. Nav light. Logo light. Cool. Let's open up the EPU door. Wait for the door open message. There it is. Door is open. Good. Cool. Let's come down here. We'll pop this guy out. We'll work on some things here. Let's go to our passenger count this afternoon. We need... What do we need here? We need... 62. And fuel for today's flight. We're going to flip this to kilograms. Fuel. We need... 4,000. So we're going to go... There we go. I'm good with those numbers. Can zero that one out for the center. Cool. 4,000 kilograms of fuel. That was good. We needed 4,047. So we're slightly over than that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Cool. That looks good. I'm happy with that. Um, let's close our doors. We'll pretend that everybody is loaded here. Good. Um, we will close that. Beautiful. All right. Let's uh, see what we've got online for ATC. I think we've got ground online in ATIS. So let's grab the ATIS. Information Quebec. We're departing runway 27. So that's good. Very short taxi. So 21.7. We'll tune to him now. And we'll let him know we've got information in Quebec. Cincinnati Ground, good afternoon again. It is Endeavour 1306 with Info Quebec. IFR to Atlanta, please. Endeavour 1306, uh, Cincinnati Ground, hello. Thanks for Quebec. Cleared to Atlanta via the Kelton 5 departure. Uh, Lexington transition, Dennis 5, making 6,000. Expect flow level 30010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency Unicom 122.8, SWAC 3767. But occurred into Atlanta, Kellen 5, Lexington transition is filed, maintain 6,000. We'll expect flight level 30010 zero, zero, minutes after departure. Departure frequency is going to be on Unicom 122.8, SWAC 3767, Endeavour 1306. Endeavour 1306, Rebecca is correct. Position size near discretion. Call for taxi, expect 27. Call for taxi, we'll expect 27. Thanks, Endeavour 1306. All right, cool. We've got that in there. Wonderful. So, let's come down here. Oops. Plugins. All right, let's come down here. Let's work on some things. We're going to go to our flight plan page. We're going to go to route menu. Company route. <coughs> CBG to Atlanta. We'll execute that. Cool. Um... Our flight number is Endeavour EDV 1306. Populate that. Good. Departures. We're going to be on the uh, Kellen 5 departure out of runway 27. So 27, Kellen 5 with the Lexington transition. And we'll execute that. Good. Um, go to our flight plan page. Next page. Good from Catherine going to jump on our arrivals. If I had to take a guess, the winds in um, Atlanta are going to be out of the... Let me just check here. KTO. 
Um, Winds Atlanta three is three three zero at one six knots. Um, definitely going to be landing on the two sixes or the two sevens. So we'll plan for the uh, Andre one. We're going to be on the Andre one via the Catherine transition. Um, and then we'll select our arrival. I'm assuming he's going to give us two six right just because we're coming in from that way. And uh, if we go to our approach, Atlanta, open charts, approach, two six right, it's gonna be from Zello. And we'll execute that, we'll scroll through here, we'll make sure that all of this looks good. Volt Spectre. Okay, so that all looks good. I'm happy with that. Cool. Um, that is all set. That is all done. Wonderful. Let's come down here. Let's go to um, this guy. We will load our takeoff speeds. Our stab trim is going to be 7, 8, which it's already set to. Good. Um, that's all done. That's good. Okay, cool. I'm happy with all of that. Altimeter was 3, 0... One three. Oops, let me do that. FMS one three zero one three. Good. Okay. Um, he said initial climb is six thousand. We've got six thousand in there, so we'll plug that afterwards. Okay, we're good. V speeds are in one twenty two, one twenty two, one thirty three. That's all set. Let's fire up the APU. APU is spooling. An Air France A321 behind us. You still on gate? I am on gate Bravo 19, yes. Okay, that's all set. APU is on and available. Let's remove the ground power. External power is removed. APU gens on. Fuel pumps are on. Uh, packs are on. Everything looks good down here. We're going to go on. 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 Okay. That all looks good. All right. Let's go to plugins. We'll go to better pushback. We'll go start pushback. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where um, you want to go. We kind of. I'm just going to go straight back. I'm not quite sure what this guy's doing, but I'm just going to go straight back because then we can choose where he wants us to go. So we'll just go straight back like that. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Very interesting pushback by this person behind me. Not sure what's going on. Um, all right, you're on. I'm going to just toggle that quickly. Seven six seven is on. Okay. So don't get armed yet. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to go. What plug do I use for the track AR? The camera is plugged into the back of the computer, and the head tracker that snaps onto my headset is plugged into the front of the case. Winching strap and adapter in position. Release parking brake when ready to start pushback. Okay, I still don't know why this guy decided to push like this right back into us. Not, not sure the logic on that one.
that Delta Sky Team livery. My goodness. That is sexy. Yeah, five twenty-six. Welcome back. Uh, you don't need another, another clearance. If you're ready to taxi, I can give that to you. Squawk 3756. Roger, yeah, then we'll uh, squawk 3756, and then, uh, yeah, we still gotta push back here, so we'll let you know. Protocol, what's up, man? Uh, taxi. How are you, dude? Uh, 526, right. Thanks for supporting the channel, my friend. We're gonna go take a look at your brand new scenery this weekend. Looking forward to it. Thanks, man. Shoddy, move your plane, man. What the hell is this, dude? Had a rough long day last night to create a backup folder for x and had to uninstall and reinstall the sim. Damn, that sucks, man. Alright. There we go. What airport are we at? CVG. I five. Starting to start. And you may start at this. Clear to land, uh, Hertzman's Mash, Novi to come 5 Hertz, or Lexington Trinity. All that pushback to then do a left 360 turn. A left 180 turn. To go out. Squawk. Squawk 3753. Alright, engine continuous is on. Engine number 2 to start. Is correct, but so your discretion, expect two seven. Introduce fuel. Sure, discretion, expect two seven. Uh, five minutes. Delta nine nine five with information Quebec uh, requesting a hard lanes to Atlanta. That's a 995, uh, San Santa Ground. Hello, thanks for coming back. Clear to Atlanta Hearts International Airport for you to come find the departure Lexington transition. That's Hotel Yankee Killer. Maintain 6,000, expect level 340, 10 minutes of departure. Departure Unicom 1228. Squawk 3777. Captain Aid, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, dude. How are you? Can you say again the departure for uh, Delta 905? That's a 985, that's the Kelvin 5 departure Lexington transition. Can't find the butcher, uh, the, the hike transition, uh, Delta 905. Uh, squawk 3777, uh, initial time 6000, uh, expect uh, flight level 340 uh, at 10 minutes after the budget. Operation complete, set parking brake. Delta 985, your back is correct. Disconnecting to tow, stand by. Ended number one to start. Introduce fuel. Connected. I'm bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. Well, see you next time and have a safe flight. Holocraft information radio now carrying to 301 forward. No significant changes. French 777 for concerned to prove. Have a great flight. Alright. Engine start switch is coming off. APU gen is off. APU is off. Doors closed. United five Window heat. Probe heat. Flaps. Eight degrees. Sierra Julia two kilo two United five twenty one. The ground endeavor thirteen oh six with uh, Romeo radio taxi two seven. Number 1306. 
six for a two seven X C U V A Julia two kilo two give way to a Delta seven five seven. Julia two kilo two. It looks like the United right to the right of me is on Julia two. We can take a left onto Julia three and taxi right behind you if that makes sense. Number thirteen oh six. That works for me. Ray two seven. Julia three. Julia kilo two. Julia three. Julia kilo two for two seven uh, for Endeavour thirteen oh six six. All right, park brakes off. Let's get our anti-skid on. And since mock trim on. Twenty-seven with Romeo or spot eight short of Julia. We're following line two seven. Delta twenty four twenty seven. We're going to two seven X C via two X C Julia to four Julia to two. Julia four Julia to kilo two to two seven United. Our correction Delta twenty four twenty seven car. Downloading while something while watching the PC side of the blue screen. Ouch. Good. At 5.26 runway. Ranch 7, Texas Mutually 2 Kilo 2. Give way to the number CRJ. Going to be passing left to right. Quadro Texas Mutually 2 Kilo 2. And then we'll give way to that CRJ. Not 5.26. Thanks. Shoddy, man. You can't just sit here at the end of the runway. French 777. I'm not the one that's supposed to give you takeoff clearance. Takeoff is at your discretion for machine for your P9. You can't be just sitting here, man. This happens every right, single time. Every time we just end up sitting here. Down. Ground good afternoon. Lufthansa 88 Heavy. Yeah, here. Four months. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate you, dude. Thanks for supporting the channel, my friend. I am doing well. Delta 752 departing now. We're going to hold short for him. Tinted windows bother you a little bit? Yeah. It'd be nice if they gave us the option, you know what I mean? I usually turn them off as well. I know in the Flight Factor airplanes, they give you the option to, like, for your window tint. But yeah, I agree. Lining up behind the writing seven five two. Since you dropped. And this traffic in the five for six uh, will be holding short behind uh, that is every nine five point six.
What's the soonest you can engage autopilot? I believe like four or five hundred feet. Oh shit, you see you just have a rejected takeoff? Okay, well, you had a rejected takeoff, so I guess we'll depart then. All right. Uh somebody said ATC was coming online. Indie Center was online, 1955. Hold on, we'll call him up quickly. Indie Center Low Endeavor 1306 is on. Runway 27, ready for departure. Endeavor 1306, Cincinnati wins uh, 29015, runway 27, ready to take off. Tour takeoff, runway uh, 27, Endeavor 1306. All right. Joystick cams on. Center, hello, uh, United 526 are with you. Uh, we're holding short at 27 behind that endeavor. Enjoy the departure, friends. Take off five, power set. Six, six, six. Take off. Nose down pressure. Airspeed's alive. Center, 80 knots, so, release the column. V1, rotate, positive rate, gears going up, Let's go to uh, nav track. Let's go to speed mode. Ready, two seven. We're clear for takeoff. United five twenty six. Thanks. Let's go to climb mode. Flaps clean. Endeavour forty seven thirty four in your center. Good uh, afternoon. Uh, let's go ahead and put. All right, let's get autopilot on. Bring you guys back up into the flight deck. All right, cool. So, we should be nav tracking. Yeah, it's gonna try and hold. We've been cleared to 30,000. Air 3734, we're gonna contact 15 miles southeast of Champagne, level 340, reset transponders, block 6705. Speed 250. What button am I pressing on the yoke to talk to ETC? The one on behind it. Out of five, twenty-one, in the center, hello, from the ETC one point. Out of five, twenty-six, right, contacts out. So now we're passing through two thousand right now. Out of five, twenty-six. Out of five, twenty-six, coming to you, hello, two six zero. Hello, two six zero, and out of five, twenty-six. Nine to five twenty one the winds uh two nine zero one five on that bombing which is to take off. Alright, we're making our left turns out. Kevin, thanks for the subscription man, appreciate you dude. First time hearing of it? It is Canadian Airsoft. Good to see you, my friend. It is, it is, yeah. It's gonna go on sale, I believe, tomorrow. Is this a new add-on? 
first time hearing of it. Yes, sir. Thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Two seven Delta twenty four twenty seven. It is. It is. Sounds down here a little bit. All right, ten thousand feet. We'll throw it into vertical speed. Thousand feet per minute. Speed's going up to 290 on the climb. Got it 521 radar contact south to. Landing lights are off. Logo light, wing light. Yeah, All that is good. Cool. Looking good, friends. Was the payload? It's a CRJ 700, so I'm honestly not sure. Not too much. Huge still floaties to you. Canadian Airsoft, thank you so, so much for your support, man. I appreciate that. Good fidelity study level? I wouldn't call it study level, no. Is it good fidelity? Yeah, it's it's fun to fly. Get mad. Take care, man. Take care. Thanks for uh, stopping by, dude. All right, we're going to throw it back on speed hold. And what I'm going to do so that, what I'm going to do so we get a a, a normal climb rate is I'm just going to increase the power. So at least get a normal climb rate out of it. Pay attention to your yoke. The spring on the right should move to the top. Otherwise, there will be a feeling of lag when pulling the yoke. Something is blocking the right spring at the lower position. I have no clue what you're talking about, man. I'm sorry, dude. I have no clue. There's absolutely no lag on my yoke. Zero lag. Not quite sure. Using real weather? I am. Clear conditions right now. Find the 200s are seeing this is exciting. Yes. Three, can I three, seven, seven, Absolutely. Phoenix 23 Kilo Papa in the center. Good afternoon. Squawk 6750. And uh, verify squawking mode. Charlie, please. Uh, yeah, I am now in the 6750. Phoenix 23 Kilo Papa. Hello, Townsend 88. Heavy holding short 27. Lufthansa 88 to runway 27, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 27, uh, Lufthansa 88. Delta 2427, radar contacts, altitude. Out of 3,200, climbing 6, Delta 2427. Delta 2427, climbing tail level 340. Climbing tail level 340, Delta 2427. Phoenix 23, Kilo Papa, radar contact, 17 miles southeast of Fort Wayne. Altitude indicates file three nine or zero. Are you going to stay there, or uh, are you going to get out the three seven? When's the last time you used uh, a real time in the sim? Uh, we use real time all the time. Yeah, Using real time sure right now. Your uh, altimeter set the standard, please. Yeah, I do. It's um, it's a twenty twenty thing. And Phoenix twenty three Kilo Papa Roger, uh, just uh, maintain file three seven zero and advise any altitude. Change. That's somebody doing some Phoenix testing in the Phoenix A320. Lufthansa 88 heavy runway 27 clear for takeoff. Okay, so as you can see, we're barely climbing, so I'm going to advance the throttles here. So that we at least get a decent climb rate. To 30,000 feet. They said that it is a bug, and they are aware of it. Pavel, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you? <laughs> I 
All right, 18,000 feet, we'll go standard barometric pressure. Oof, look at that bad boy. Looks nice. Flew this airframe at Comair Delta Airlines from 2000 to 2011. Very cool, James. Very, very cool, I have a question. I'm playing X-Plane, and I don't know what code or word to put in for the route so I can finish my flight plan. Uh, what do you mean? The arrival? The star? The tons of 88 heavy radar contacts, Alston. 1.8 for 6 for our United, er, the tons 88. The tons 88 heavy coming to 400. Uh, can we amend that to 320 for your, uh, 88? That's approved. All right, we're on our way to the Lexington VOR. And our friends, Triple Seven Indy Center. Our friends, Triple Seven Indy Center. Yeah, it looks like you're off uh, your file fly plane a little bit. Are you direct Catherine right now? Did that guy reject the takeoff in the air or no? No, he was. Uh, I was on the ground. Air France Triple Seven Indy Center. Air France Triple Seven. Uh, can we give you the heading because uh, last time still have a problem. Roger, where are you headed now? What is your next waypoint? Next waypoint is Catherine. Okay, Roger. Thank you. Five twenty six radio contact lost. What about the gear button on the yoke? Uh, I'm using it on my honeycomb throttle right now. Delta 9 at 95, Arnav bomb me, winds 290.15, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Caution white turbulence, previous departure was a heavy set, air correction in the A340. Air for takeoff 27, Delta 995. Look up, everyone. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. JP, good to see you, man. How are you? Might even get a nice little sunset arrival into uh, Atlanta. an Air Canada CRJ200 out that you can actually do in the sim. Man, there's so many. My favorite one's probably Montreal Delta to Boston nine, or Montreal five, to uh, LaGuardia or Newark. That's a 995 radar contact. Climb maintain follow 340. Climb maintain 340. I'll have to take a look at that, Brady, yeah. Alright, there's cruise altitude. Mach 77, which should be fine.
Toronto to LaGuardia. That's a good one too, yeah. CRJ, have your approval? Um, yes. I mean, yes and no. Yes and no. Right now, I'm giving it about a six and a half out of ten. Um, I think there's, I think that the texturing and the modeling and the flight model are very good. And I think that's why it's getting um, a yes. Um, the systems need some work. The systems are very basic to minimal right now. Systems definitely need some work. Um, if you, you know, I, I don't think you can quite compare it with, you know, the Q400 or, or the Tolus 340. I don't think it's quite at that level, but it's also not, not priced at that level. You know what I mean? So I think for its price point at $49.95, just under $50, I believe that that it, it, it's a good deal. It's, it's probably worth it. And I think what you have to do is you're, you're kind of investing in the developer when, when you get into your, when you get into a project like this. I've had a couple talks with the developer now. I, I, I trust the developer and that they're, they're going to do the right thing and they're going to deliver us a, you know, a, a proper product. So, yeah. Which systems like navigation? I mean, the, the lack of a custom FMC. Um, there's other little things that people have pointed out, like the the CRJ, when you, when you select a runway, it should automatically input the ILS frequency and course heading like you shouldn't have to do that it's like part of the part of the system that does that um just just stuff like that in general I mean like if you go to the you know if you go to this page here you can see that they've like they've actually done some stuff and they've added this but um you know like altitude restrictions don't show up speed restrictions don't show up um, ETA doesn't show up. I can show airports. Airports will populate, but like that's about it, you know. Low nav aids do. High nav aids do. Nearest airports. Don't think that pops anything up. Um, the the window doesn't do anything either. Like this option here, it doesn't do anything. Like you can't have the V nav, the com. You know, none of that works. Left side, right side, I guess that does work. Um, yeah, just other things, you know, other other little things. If you had to be nitpicky, like, I don't know, dude, like, if you look here, like... Hey, friends, 777 contact at Atlanta Center, 132.7. You can't, you can't put no smoking to auto, you can't put seatbelts to auto. It's only, it's only on or off. Emergency lights, you can't arm. They only go on or off. You can't arm the emergency lights. They only go on or off. Um, the tablet. I think there needs to be a separate screen for like landing performance instead of it giving me the same thing. Like, that's essentially what it's doing. So you can see like it's giving you, so like your V2 speed, whatever this V2 speed ends up being is your approach speed. That's, that's what's happening. So. Yeah. I feel like that could be made a little bit clearer, maybe a little bit better, maybe its own little page. I don't know. Nine and five out of co out of code fits for uh, a couple of minutes. Um, I also back. don't like that I have to like pop it out to like use it in, in any which way. So like if I wanted to change fuel or anything, I have to like pop it out and use it. That should be something like I should be able to click on this number within the tablet and change it. Hopefully that's something that they can add. Um, yeah. I'd like to see them add terrain and weather. Currently right now terrain radar and, and weather radar is not modeled. Um, that's a pretty big one. Considering that you can use, you know, you can use a freeware, I don't know what it is to implement it into your plane. I don't know if it's, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if, uh, uh, whatever that, what's that plugin that we all use that the, uh, the Zebo uses, Terrain Radar. I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know if it's, uh, possible to use a Terrain Radar in this one, you know. I don't know if that's possible to implement that or something like that. So. 
Yeah. Now, is it good that we have something fresh and something new for X-11? Yes, absolutely. I feel like the CRJ has been uh, long neglected in the, uh, in the sim world. The last CRJ that we had was a CRJ, uh, what was it? It was a CRJ um, 200. That's the last CRJ that we've had in X-Plane, so. <clears throat> yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I think, I think once some of those issues get addressed, I think my, my score will definitely go shame. up. But if this, if this is the release yeah, candidate, then, you know, if this releases tomorrow like this, I'm giving it a six and a half, um, which isn't a bad score. It's a decent score. And I think it's priced accordingly at, at like I said, $49. I think it's priced accordingly. It's not. It's not. You know. It's not your ninety dollar, a hundred dollar plane. It's a. It's a forty nine dollar plane, fifty dollar plane. And I think that's a fair price. And I think that's a that's a good investment in a brand new developer. This is the first release from this developer, so um, realistically, you can you can only say that things are going to go up from here, right? So, I think that's kind of the perspective that I'm that I've got on board is that it can only it can only get better from here right am i going to continue to fly this plane absolutely yep we'll continue to keep the updates on it and we'll we'll see what changes in, in the future and um yeah i do like it hopefully i think it's going to be on skunk craft updater as well i think um it tons of 88 yeah I, I i think it's uh I think with something like this, I think you're investing in a developer. Uh, seven, seven, three, and um, like I said, I, I, I trust these guys. I've had a couple Roger, conversations uh, with them now. I think that they do mean good in the community, so and I think that this is their, you know, this is the first project that they're doing. So, yeah. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for the development of the product. I think, I think what they've sh shown so far um, is. Uh, is enough to get me on board. I think they've got a solid product here. Like I said, are there some issues? Yep. It's a CRJ, so I mean, it's it's very hands-on flown, so you don't really need crazy amount of system depth. You really don't. These, these CRJs are basically like, like big, big GA planes. You know what I mean? Like anything that you have to change the nav source, you know, it's basically like a GA plane. So um, you don't need crazy system depth of this. I think you can still enjoy the aircraft exactly how it is right like this. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually enjoying the flight model. It feels really cool to fly. You definitely, like I said, it, it it definitely feels like a jet. It doesn't feel like a Cessna. It's got some weight to it. It's got some nice heaviness onto the yoke. It's nice. They did a good job. I'm excited to see where it goes. I don't like when it does that, but I'm excited to see where it goes. I don't like when the sim does that. Captain Geo, thanks, man. Sarah J200 was made for X Plane 8 or 9. Yeah. Yeah. Can't forget the tip jaw, damn it, Geo. Thanks, Geo. Appreciate you, my friend. Gotta do the tip jaw on the way out or the way in. W1306, contact Atlanta Center 132.97. Good night. 3297, thanks for your TC, man. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon from W1306. Tip. All right, 3297, Atlanta Center. Look at that ground speed, four almost 490 knots compared to the last time. Yeah, I'm not rushing to get it released. Gonna wait to see how the devs updated. Definitely interested in getting it nonetheless. Just uh, not in its current state. Yep, that's understandable. That's understandable. I think if you really love a CRJ, you'd be fine. If you're somebody that's looking for a little bit more system depth, I would say hold off for a little bit maybe. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm in, I'm enjoying flying it. We're definitely gonna keep flying it. Uh, is CRJ 700 better than the 900? Or are they both the same? They're basically identical, man. The only difference is the length. FedEx A286, thanks, right? I can't take three, six miles That's west it. of the Hitch Mountain. They are flyable 250. Geo, what's up, man? How are you, dude? 
Finally able to catch a stream. Cole, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Lance Center, good afternoon. Endeavor 1306, final three zero zero. Endeavor 1306, Lance Center. Matt, have you heard any more about the PMDG? No, not yet, man. Hopefully soon. Have you heard any more about the PMDG yet? Pilot's no. discretion, you can descend a mountain one one thousand feet. The Knoxville but Timber three zero zero. If I had to take a guess, if I had to take a guess, PMDG is very smart. If I were PMDG, I would be doing everything in my power to get this released on the Christmas holidays. Could you imagine how many people would be picking that up if you could release that airplane for the Christmas holidays? I know, I know. I may be optimistic at that, but yeah, forty-seven. Even like New Year time. holidays, like Christmas holiday, Christmas New Year holidays. Everybody's home, you know. Everybody's off school for a couple weeks. Man, oh man, oh man. If I'm if I'm in a like, uh, you know, if I was in that position, that's what I would be pushing for. Four, Charlie, thanks. You can uh, score command. Right after this time, score command time there. Power pregnancy charge approved. Yeah, I mean, that's fair flight, man. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, right? You got to remember, though, dude, not, uh, there's a lot of people in here that don't fly Microsoft Flight Sim. There's a lot, you know, I, I, a lot of my viewership, a lot of the United guys that I built this channel on Sorry, second. fly X-Plane. So you have to remember that. Not everybody uh, is, uh, is using it. Been out of the loop. What is PMGG doing now? 737 Max? Uh, no, they're just releasing their 737 for Microsoft Flight Sim. Hopefully sooner than later. Are you using the new yoke? I am, yes. Oh. Like they did for the one in x -Men. they put it on the market the second week of December three years ago. There you go. I mean, it's just, if I'm in marketing, it doesn't, uh, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out, you know, everybody's got that Christmas money, everybody's got the holiday money, everybody's got vacation money. That's the time, man. Mr. Treeman, good to see you, dude. It's actually getting better. Surprisingly, as the day's going on, it's actually genuinely getting better. I, uh, I think I'm going to take a nice, nice hot shower after the stream, see how I'm feeling. Got to go do some groceries, and yeah, we'll be good. Saw the post on their forum where someone said, uh, if Pat's habits are any indication, they typically release a product around the month after they change the background on their Facebook page. Yes, I saw that too. Which would put us right in time for just before Christmas, right? You know, well, if you think about it. Last year, calling second. I'm Microsoft Facebook only, but I'm going to get Xbox 11 for Christmas. There you go, sweet. Gap, you should fly around South Africa in a Cessna caravan. Atlanta, good Interesting. Do a flight from Boston to Newark in United 73. Uh, nice. 11, 12, Atlanta, Center, welcome. Call my entire flight level 210. 210, 11, 12, thanks. At X80, 96, you can play in the visual runway 5 right at Knoxville. Excited for the holidays? Sure. Delta 15, 14, you leave my space. Jacksonville's close. Right assist. Terminated frequency change approved. Going over to Unicom, Delta 15, 14. Have a good night. Perfect. Spin 11 got the right time frame. We get X Wing 12 for free. Requesting, uh, two I don't minutes. know. Southwest 2341 approved. Calling you back. I will call back Southwest 2341. Atlanta Center, good afternoon, Delta 2427, Lolo, Treat 4 is Delta 2427, Lolo. Using AIG for Microsoft Flight Simulator, forgive me if it's already been asked, I'm not using it yet. Count Duck, I may take a look at it, but yeah. I actually don't mind the, the model matching that I use right now. Probably could get better, but yeah. 
Hoping for the Flight Factor 777 and 77 to release at Christmas. Optimistic? Oh, extremely. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Maybe, Dylan. Who knows, dude? <clears throat> Got a 2842 take on airline approach, 135.32. 135.32, that's a 2842 take yeah. Yeah, if it's triple seven at pilot's discretion to set a man time for level two four zero. Air France triple seven air France seven 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 alarm center. Be up here. American 709 at Palace discretion to Sedimento, Bondable 240. Atlanta, good evening. Lufthansa 88 Heavy. 60 miles from Katrin at 3TZ. Earth, Tansa, ID Allen, and Robert. I'm going to send a good afternoon. I'm down to 494. Hold off 10,000. Restrict 1, 4,000. Got a 494 letter set of welcome. Club on top, floodable 330. Thank you. Here's Continuing Prime Level 330. Delta 494. Iteration of a 7.6 in Microsoft. Nice. Yeah, I agree, John. Kind of like the drone camera in, in Microsoft. How do I entertain myself during these long flights? Yeah, Hang out with you guys seven, in chat. Pilot's discretion to set a time foldable 240, please. Uh, sorry, is it 340? Pilot's discretion when you're ready, foldable 240. What is my favorite Canadian uh, airport? Oh, I don't know, dude. 240 when you're ready, 24. 240, sorry, 240. Atlantis intercept was turn 341 is back with you. Got a 2417 to send him on time, fallable 300. Southwest 2341. I wanted a 76 for explain from Flight Factor which version should I get the pro? Um, I would say it's worth it to get the full, yeah, you get the 76, what is it, you get the freighter variant, the 300 and the 200? Yeah, I would say so. Toronto Island is definitely one of the cooler ones, yeah. So is Castlegar. Castlegar is pretty crazy out in BC. Air France, triple seven Atlanta. Indeed, I think if you like regional hops, while also being able to do longer flights, it's all Seven, yeah. Just verify your next waypoint, please. I have never thought about that, Tanush. Would be cool, though, man. I don't have the next point here. I can see everything got deleted. Air France Triple Seven, you able to direct the Atlanta airport currently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going direct to the airport. Thanks. Other expert eleven aircraft expected to release. No, 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 uh, Atlanta, welcome. This Got Christmas. Twenty four seventeen Atlanta. I don't know, Casper. Go ahead, Atlanta for twenty four seventeen. 
The 2417, the Santa Martin, level 300 now, please. Looking forward to another letter, Kenny. Clifton, thanks so much for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge top floaties, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Very kind, man. Freeware, what's up, man? American 963. Uh, Apparently, it's releasing uh, tomorrow. Riding 330, win 320, nine, I run my 36 setup clip and take off. Releasing tomorrow. Thanks so much, Clifton. I appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you, sir. American Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Across Aussie, Adam Antone, one two thousand and two five zero dot CLN Altimeter two nine nine nine. Hopefully, the rotate uh, MD eleven releases soon. Yes, that would be nice. FedEx eighty two eighty actually eighty two ninety six. Turn right, heading two three zero to Santa Monica. Six thousand vectors for the approach. Mary Anders, take care, my friend. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Do you prefer the Microsoft CRJ or this? Um, depends, man. They're both pretty good. I would say that probably... You know, obviously the Aerosoft one has a few more offers, considering that you get to choose the 550, the 700, the 900, and the 1000. Yeah. They're both good, man. They're both fun to fly. I actually probably think the flight model in X-Plane, and obviously on this... This one flies better, in my opinion. This one's more fun to fly. Delta 2417, Connect ND Center 119.55. With ND Center 119, it is a multiplied by Delta 2417. Air France 777, cross 40 DME Atlanta at maintain 15000, the Atlanta altimeter 29098. Why is it impossible to land from the outer cam? It's not, it's just... Yeah, I'd rather land from in the cockpit. Yeah, fast trouble, seven line us up. Really need to reinstall Microsoft that's we need to get another NVMe drive? Yes. Monkey Nut, what's up man? Thanks so much dude for the dollar donation. Appreciate you as always. Thanks so much man. Good to see you doing well. Thanks so much. Never forty seven thirty four, Roger. It's 47.34 pilot's discretion to set a time for level 2 four, zero. I'm going to see a close-up of the displays. Fix 8296, just confirm you're descending to 6,000 for me. Two nine six, just some vectors for to lose some height. Turn right, heading two seven zero. Uh, Danny, they have their own website and their own forums. American nine sixty three, thanks for that. Contact climb on time one six thousand. Next, 8296, uh, turn right, hitting 280, please. Atlanta Center, November 8454, for Romeo Piper at Greensboro, looking for a full stop or 20 miles east of Greensboro. Uh, 
to put that in the fuck up. Recognize 63, resume navigation, direct Jojo. Climb on time, flood level 3, 4, 0, resume normal speed. Alright, 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 Center. Hello, Southwest 5801 with you. Approximately 80 miles to the east of Dangerously Slojo, addicted to the Q4, dude. It's. <laughs> I think we're going to jump back in this week. Roger, Roger, Roger. 50, 47, 34, give it a one sec. Surprised he hasn't got us to descend yet. Southwest 2341 and mended route for you into Atlanta. Vice ready to copy. We're ready to copy Southwest 2341. Southwest 2341, thanks. Clear to the Atlanta airport via present position. Direct to Smog, Sierra, Mike, Alpha, Whiskey, Golf. Then the Hobbit to arrival. Can I ask how the performance is in this bird? I'm getting 75 PS right now on the outside, and if we go inside, um, 55, 60, performance is pretty good in it. I'd say it's probably close to Zebo now, maybe a little bit better than the Zebo. And then 4734 cross chip out of Montana 13000 let out to the 2990. FedEx 8296, my apologies for the late vector. Turn left heading 100 to Cinnamon Town 4000. Southwest 3154, yeah, we'll discretion to Cinnamon Town, follow 240. We will see. I want to check out the yeah, new the Boise that released from uh, Vertical Sim. So definitely do some Alaska. Sorry, my apologies. The Stone, thanks so much, man, for the two pound donation. Two I just five five got five airborne, zero, the, zero, the race is on. Oh, oh baby. Sweet. Thanks for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties to you. Thanks for contrib contribution to the channel. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Wow, kid. Take care, my friend. Have yourself a wonderful evening. Thanks for being here. Never thirteen zero six. Uh, Michael Gustav, thanks Never so much, dude. Thirteen zero six. Cross on Dorado Mountain one three thousand two five zero knots. The Atlanta altimeter two nine 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 eight. Andre for thirteen two five zero knots. Endeavor thirteen zero six. I don't know if that's happening, but Andre is like 50 miles out, 13,000 feet. Yeah, we could probably do it. 325, a lot of sort of flighting. 025, runway 36. Sorry, runway 36, right clear, take off with 320 at Nana. Right, let's go 2,400 feet per minute initially. Bring the speed back. Michael, thanks so much, man. The stone, thank you guys. Appreciate both of you, man. Thank you, thank you. Atlanta Center, Southwest 5801. Just want to confirm you copied our check in. 5801. Good, decent FPS. We're in the 50s. Lufthansa 88, report your Mac number. 74, uh, 88. American 70, Icon Airline Approach 135.32. Air France Travel 7, Cotta Atlanta, approach 135.32. 135.32, FedEx 82, 96, turn left heading 070. 070. Airline 
Eastern Atlanta Center, Southwest 2341. Do you still do you want How many liveries will it include? I believe it's got five or six of them, but it's going to have a bunch that you can go and download. It. I'll just to give it to you to so it's one of those that it's, it's going to ship just for package size. It's going to ship small, and then they're going to have a bunch that you can go and download. FedEx 8296, the airport's 11 to 12, actually. Uh, FedEx 8296 for now, just turn my FedEx 060, join the localizer. Good afternoon, Atlanta Center, Delta 2360, with the 33306 miles from Shire. Alright, I'm going to set up for runway 26 right. 110.1 on the nav. 4735, just got your take with approach 135.32. Front course of 275. Isaac like Reams, this is a beta. It should be releasing tomorrow. Atlanta Center, Delta 2360, level 320. Delta 2360, No floaty stall, the gentleman that just donated. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. The Stone and Michael. 4225, Atlanta Center, Alcatraz, level 210. Two nine or nine or eight is the altimeter in Atlanta. Quarter to uh, six hours. Quarter to six seven four turn left. For traffic hitting two two zero. Left for traffic two two zero Cardinal six ninety four. Cardinal six ninety four. This one time one five thousand for the altimeter two nine nine eight. Two nine nine eight and down to one five thousand for Cardinal six ninety four. Atlanta Delta twenty four twenty seven. So we're about ten till top of the center. Twenty four twenty seven across Andre at a mountain one three thousand and two five zero knots. The Atlanta altimeter two nine nine eight. Cross Andre at 13,250 knots, and we have from here on 44 Remember, guys, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. Hopefully, we've reached our goal of 350 likes. Confirm 73. Tons at 88, turn 20 degrees left for traffic. 20 degrees left for traffic, United 88. United 529, cross Andre at maintain 13,250 knots, altimeter 2900. Look at that controller switch. That seems getting good. Delta 2427, cross Andre, I maintain 13,250 knots, I'll tender 2900 on our eight. Cross Andre, the, the supervisor took over there. Golf. Thanks. Two nine or nine or eight. Tonsa 88, descend to maintain flight level 240. Down 240, United 8, or Luke Tonsa 88. All right, Andre is about 30 miles off the nose. We're looking good. We'll probably shallow that out to 2,000 feet per minute. Southwest 2341, got out of approach 135.3. Way past that? Oh, damn. Okay. Sweet. Order approach, awesome. every Thanks, evening, Southwest 2341. Never 1306, got out of approach 135.3. Did you see Alaska 559's approach into London Heathrow? I did not. What happened? I never said 1306 approach 13532. Somewhere on the displays that show the winds, no, it should. But it doesn't. Should be like right down here. I hope they add that as well. Cordell 674 to Cinema Side 111000. American 325, sorry for delay, radar contact, climb on ton 16,000. Alright, remember we need to be at 250 knots. 
down to one, 11,000 Colonel, 600. I need to be on approach. Center Did he pass me to approach? 13,000 for 14,000. 24, 24, let our uh, welcome clubs to command type level 330. 330, Delta 23, 24. American 325, resume navigation. I don't think you gave it to me. They're all command type level 330, resume normal speed. Next, 82, 86, the center maintain 3,000 airports, 12 o'clock. One three miles of port inside. Eighty two ninety six. Eighty two ninety six. Thanks. Clear visual approach. Runway five right. The Knoxville wind three three zero eight. Runway five right. Clear away. Atlanta Delta twenty four twenty seven. I just want to confirm the crossing extra, uh, restriction at Andre is at cross it at and maintain or just cross at one three thousand. At a maintain one three thousand and two five zero knots. At maintain one tree, uh, one tree thousand and two five zero knots delta twenty four twenty seven. Thank you. The turns are eighty eight. Reduce speed to two five zero knots. There's a thousand foot call up. Two fifty on the speed United area. We've done eight eighty. South is twenty three forty one. Approach one three five point three two. Delta 2360, our pilot's discretion to set a mountain time for follow 240. Pilot's discretion down at 240, Delta 2360. Of Townsend 88, turn right, heading 250. Right 250, uh, lift down to 88 heavy. Right, coming up on 13,000 feet. 250 knots, perfect. Four miles from Andre, met our restriction. Perfect. Good flying. Uh, you south of 5801, you leave my space. Long stream, that's it, man. We've we got to make up for missing Saturday, right? Six seven four, just one time to follow the one eight zero. Yeah. Fly on one eight zero, Cardinal six seven four. Cardinal six seven four, my body is center one ten. Graves wheel and pedals when playing truck sim. Yeah, we do yes. Times of Cardinal six seven four. Is you have a navigation direct Andre cross Andre to maintain one three thousand two five zero. Not see how that answer the two nine. Can you confirm who that was for? Look, Charles, 88 was your navigation direction? No. Direct no. Uh, did you want to set, where did you want to set Andre? Uh, cross Andre at 13,250, and I'll see that number 2998. Andre at 13,250, uh, 250 on the speed for, uh, we'll jump to 4. Blue 1218, the Atlanta Center, Roger, climb on time, floatable 350. What's better, Microsoft Flight Simulator X plane? It really depends, yeah, man. Yeah, 521, cut out Atlanta, approach 135.32. Depends what type of flying you're looking to do. Endeavour 1306, cut out Atlanta, approach 135.32. 3532, thanks for reaching email. We'll see you soon. Never 1306. And approach, good evening, Endeavor 1306, 1305. Endeavor 30, uh, 
Air Press 777, reduce speed to 180. Reduce speed to 180. And Denver 4734, just eliminate 4000. Definitely see the winds playing on our little Sierra J while descending. Yes. Yeah, she's. Uh, it's a bumpy. It's been a bumpy flight. Down to four thousand. I have one. I have one from the flight. Southwest twenty three forty one. We speed of two one zero. Then it's going to maintain seven thousand. Two one zero. Descend. Maintain seven thousand. Southwest twenty three forty one. Oh boy. Question. Endeavor thirteen zero six. Turn left. Heading one eight zero. Vector for the approach. Left one eighty vectors for the approach. Endeavor 1306. Endeavor 4734, we got that enough here to set up our one. Next, stand by. Uh, Delta Echo Fox from Lima, Lima, Contact Lana Center, 132.97, checking with the heading today. 132.97, Lana Center, thank you. Shall I ask the Delta? Airfront 777, clear better approach, 126 right, 180 to AJ, tower at AJ, 119. Alright, 119.1 zero. I press triple set at 180 knots to AJ, towered at AJ, 119.1. Alright, Delta Echo Fox 4734, turn right, heading 190, do you still have the traffic? 190, we still got it. Endeavor 4734, follow traffic, clear visual approach, 1265, 180 to AJ. Okay, follow traffic, 180 on the heading, 180 to AJ, Endeavor 4734. Yeah, we don't have a banana in this one either, Will. Endeavor 1306, reduce speed to 210, then it's going to take 6,000. 210 on the speed, then 6,000, Endeavor 1306. United 521, turn right, heading 190, this is going to take 900,000. Yeah, this doesn't even have the banana, unfortunately. Makes it really difficult to try and... Uh, and then approach, good afternoon, Delta 24, 27, setting out at 13,800 to cross a pond crane. We have, let's go. Delta 24, 27, Atlanta approach, 126. 26, right, Delta 24, 27. No, I know, I wish they, I, I hope, I think they're going to implement it. I hope they will. Uh, yeah. 20 Victor, 3 3 Zulu, uh, your radar pressure high dance, please. Alright, 210 on the speed, we're descending 1600 feet per minute. We're through 10,000 feet, so we'll get those guys on. We can also get our logo lights and our wing lights on. Zero six, this is the 4,000, turn right heading 220. 4,000 heading 220, Endeavor 1306. Endeavor 4734 at AJ, kind of tower, 100. Southwest 2341, this is going to maintain 3000. This is going to maintain 3000, Southwest 2341. United 521, turn right heading 220. Right, 220, United 521. Delta 2427, this is going to maintain 900,000. Sorry, this is going to maintain 900,000, flat present heading vector 20 approach. Present heading, this is going to maintain 900,000. Yeah, sorry, it's not just flat, it's flat. Leaves the leading edge here. Approach Cardinal 64 with you, 9000 before 8000. Direct Bravo Golf 2674, Atlanta approach, runway two, uh, sorry, runway 21, I'm sorry, runway 3 right, 3 right at P3, it's going to be a visual approach, and Atlanta on to the 1998. Is that for Cardinal 674? Bravo Golf Charlie 674, uh, affirmative, okay, Cardinal 674, affirmative, runway, two, runway 3 right at P3, Atlanta on to the 1998. Three right at page three for Cardinal six seven four. And there were thirteen zero six traffic follows at your twelve o'clock six miles westbound at four thousand a uh, regional go. Your firm we advise for uh thirteen oh six. There are thirteen zero six follow traffic, the visual approach, wait two six right, one eight zero knots until AJ. Follow the traffic, uh for the visual approach and one eighty till AJ endeavor for two United 521, reduce to 210. Alright, so we're following him. 210, then down to 6,000. Delta 
427, turn left, heading 180, short vector. He wants 180. Left heading 180, vectors for spacing, double turn 427. 180 is in. Got an approach, good evening to American 7 team with you passing 3,700 for 7,000. 130 on the approach speed. 4,017. An approach, good evening, United 18, or 88 approach. with you, 13,000, uh, 0.8 miles from Andre. Okay, we'll verify that was Lufthansa 88 Heavy, Lufthansa 88 Heavy, going 26 right. A firm for uh, Lufthansa 88 Heavy. Uh, the Plaza 88 Heavy, runway 26 right, this is going to take 9,000. Can you confirm 26 or 27 right? 26 right. 26 right, uh, for the uh, Lufthansa 88 Heavy. Delta 2427, reduce speed to 210, then it's going to take 6,000. Localizer. Delta Atlanta departure, Air Canada 605, uh, at 4,000 feet, climbing 10,000. Delta 2427, ski 210, then 6,000. Reducing to 210 knots, down to 6,000, delta 2427. Air Canada 605, land upon Trevator contact, climb maintain 14,000. Climb maintain 14,000, Air Canada 605. Southwest 2341, sorry about the delay, turn left, any 330, vector to final. 330, vector to final, Southwest 2341. AJ Tower 19, one great job today. Charlie Victor 332, uh, I dance. Alright, waiting on glide slope. America 718, contact Atlanta Center, 132.97. Over to Center for 7, have a good night, see ya. Delta 2, There's glide slope. Atlanta, Eight degrees flaps. The FBO on the ground, uh, waiting clearance. Number three four one one eight thousand until AJ. One nine point one. Cardinal six seventy four. This is going to take four thousand. Down to four thousand. Cardinal six seventy four. Charlie Victor three three two five westbound. AJ is two and a half. So two six tower. left at Bravo six and join uh, Echo to your ramp. Anyone. Alright, Thank you so much for your help. Tower is November 34, 11. We're on the ground at uh, the FBO. Uh, we have information call for requesting IFRs file. All right. The 1354, kind of Atlanta departure. Have a nice night. Over to departure. That's 1354. Thank you. Or 3411, Atlanta. You ready to copy? Eight and a half miles. Let's drop the gear. We're ready to go. Ready to Charlotte. Fill three fill as Almost filed. at AJ, still not quite. 18,100,000, expect level 250 and 10, departure on uh, 3532, 7273. Okay, we're clear to the uh, fill through with the build transition. Uh, we're going to fly flight level 10,000 and we'll expect flight level 250, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 35 decimal 32 squawky 7273 November 3411. Number 3411, read back, Craig. Connect me ready for tax. Contact you ready for tax at 3411. Tower Endeavor 1306, uh, 26 right. 26 left. Two people, Endeavor 1306, Atlanta Tower, 26 right, Kirtle Land, number 2, wind 330, Nanner, gust 17. 26 right, Kirtle Land, Endeavor 1306. 516, Atlanta Tower, runway 26 left, tax via Fox Road Echo. 26 left, Fox Shot Echo, right, Delta 5. Get fully configured here. Tower 3411, what's our departure runway? Uh, 26 right if I can get you out on that. A firm, 26 right, 3411. Air Force Super 7 thank you so much. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. My aircraft, enjoy the arrival. Get you down on the ground. Alright, landing checklist. Gears down, three green. Flaps are full. Spoilers. Welcome to Atlanta Cross Runway. Cabin crews advised. It's you guys four, are advised. Your choice. Next Let's do this, friends. Check.
those gusts. Crosswinds, too. Nice. So creams, appreciate you, man. Holy dude, those winds. Reversers, goes down gently. Oh my lord. I think I've mastered this airplane, friends, with the butters. Reversers. 60 knots, we're stowing them. Atlanta Tower, South of West Street. Vicky to the left. Visual, uh, 27 uh, to the left. Holy! South of West 23, 41 Those crosswinds, though, that was gnarly. I got right on 10 seconds. Clear land, 27 off, South of West 23, 41. Right on 10 seconds. Alright, bring you guys back up into the fight deck. Oof! Man, we were getting rocked by those winds. Yeah, they're 521 on lead attack, good afternoon, runway uh, 26 right, you're clear to land, wind 3309, or gust 17. In Tower Endeavor 1306, we get to Bravo 5. Endeavor 1306, welcome to Atlanta Cross runway 26 left at Bravo 6, echo to the ramp, have a nice day. Cross 26 left, Bravo 6, echo to the ramp. Thanks for running for ATC. We'll see you soon. Endeavor 13 to 6. Thanks. We'll see you later. All right, cool. There we go. Flaps are clean. Spoilers are clean. Landing lights are coming off. Wing lights coming off. We've got the EPU starter switch up and on. Wow. What a cool ass approach, man. Holy shit. Pardon my French. That was crazy, dude. Wow. That was so much fun. Damn. <laughs> this thing is spicy, dude. That made me uh, that made me work for that one. That was fun, though. A lot of fun. Thought for a moment you came in way too fast. No, we're right on speed, man. Right on speed. Everything was looking good. Probably could have gone even a little bit slower, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go park with all those RJs right there. That's where we're going. All right, we're crossing the runway, so we're good. Strobe lights can come off. EPU is spooling. Get the EPU gen on here in a second. There we go, EPU gen is online. It's amazing what just taking a single day, you know? Like last night, taking, taking two hours out of my night to sit down and actually fly the airplane and figure out how it lands it's just it's amazing it's such a such a a, a stark contrast to trying to land it yesterday uh, for the very first time 24 27 so uh, uh, yeah right. absolutely awesome so the 24 27 atlanta tower good afternoon runway 26 right could land the wind 330 at 9 or gust 17 Runway 26 right clear to land on the 24 27 alpha 5 uh right. feels completely different fires this actually feels the flight model on this is fun I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think there's another way to put It's fun. It's actually a joy to fly it. it. It feels very good to hand fly. You know how certain airplanes just feel good to hand fly? This feels like one of those. Tower, it's just, 24, 27, it's just alert, fun 20, to hand fly. You know? Got a 24, 27 copy. Delta 516, ready to go 26 left. 516. Right. Southwest 2341, welcome to Atlanta Cross, runway 27 right, November 5, join Mike to the ramp tonight. Cross 27 right at November 5, Southwest 2341, and Mike to the ramps. United 521, those look like you landed on 26 left there, just join uh, Echo. <laughs> Somebody landed on 26 left instead of 26 right. Oh boy. 
starter switch is off, beacon light is off. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Atlanta. Two successful flights today, two absolute greasy butters. I think the second one was even greasier. That was absolutely awesome. How do I turn off the window shades? Uh, there's in the setting somewhere, dynamic blinds, I think it's called. Yeah, dynamic blinds. There we go, friends. Look at that. In the in the line of other RJs. We've got another 700 here, a 200 here. Yeah, a couple 700s and a 200. Look at that. Welcome home. Welcome home to Atlanta, my friends. Beautiful. What a great day of flying, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here and hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase. Uh, again, I, I mean, I, I think I think my 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 evaluation of the aircraft at a six and a half, six and a half seven, I think that's a fair assessment. At six and a half seven, that it's definitely a viable plane. There's definitely a lot here. Um, you can fly it on Vatsim. You can fly it on networks. Um, it is a it is a fun airplane to fly. That being said. Um, uh, I think there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on this aircraft, and I think the developer is aware of that as well. Um, I don't think by any means are they throwing up their hands saying, okay, the aircraft is done, this is it, this is all we're doing. Um, I think the aircraft is at a state now where it should be enjoyed by the community. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's just very clear that I think it's important to let buyers know kind of where your stance is and, and where you kind of are right now so um there is a lot of work that still needs to be done the developer has said that they are still going to continue doing work on this so fingers crossed that is the case uh like i said we, we we've you know unfortunately in the flight sim industry in the flight sim world we've heard this story many times before we've heard developers say that they're going to add this they're going to add that and we're waiting for years months you know so um yeah uh, I've, I've got faith in them I, I i wish them nothing but the best they have a fun airplane that's for sure there's a lot here um, it needs some work, but there's a lot here. Uh, I really do enjoy it. This will, we will definitely be flying this again. This isn't the last time you're going to see this aircraft on this channel. And with that, friends, let's go ahead and toggle replay mode. We'll take a look at our arrival into Atlanta. I mean, it flew it perfectly. You know, it flew the whole ILS approach. Um, it flew everything, everything the way that we could have asked for it. Um, nice little sunset arrival here. Some crazy winds there at the end. So what was going on was, was those were actual weathered winds. That was gusting, um, that was gusting winds. Um, gusting crosswind. And that's why you saw right there, you can kind of see the airplane moving left to right, oscillating a little bit. Again, awesome sounds on this airplane as well. The sound pack alone is just beautiful. And you can see the RJ, we're coming in just so flat, so flat, almost on the ground. And there we go. What a gorgeous, gorgeous landing, man. Such a crazy airplane. I love the RJ, man. You, 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 it's one of those planes where you kind of fly it into the ground. There's just such minimal flare. You can see me flaring and like, oh, wait, hold on. I don't have to flare that. I don't have to flare that. And down gently, absolute beauty, man! What a what a cool ass approach! I love flying. Uh, I love flying an X plane when there's just some crazy weather because uh, it's so odd. And if you actually look at like the if you actually look at the trajectory, it kind of looks like it has a nose down trajectory, and that is it is very similar to what it's like in the real life with these RJs. There. Freaks of natures, man, these things, I swear. They are freaks of natures. Well, everybody, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this uh, live stream. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed it. I know they've been long streams. Long stream yesterday. Uh, long stream today. Um, but I just wanted to thank you guys and, and obviously apologize for not being able to go live on Saturday with internet issues. So uh, make it back up. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. Again, if you haven't done so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so as well, don't forget to hit uh, that thumbs up button. I have no clue how many likes we're at, but I definitely think we've reached our goal. Thank you everybody for coming to hang out. This airplane should be available tomorrow for you guys to enjoy. So if you've seen enough out of it and you want to support the developer and... Uh, you want to take the skies and an RJ, you know what to do. I believe it's going to be for sale tomorrow at the X-Plane uh, Org store. Uh, I believe that's where it's going to be sold as well as in the uh, maybe some other stores. But uh, for sure, the X-Plane Org store, that's where you can find it. Thanks for coming to hang out with me this week, guys. Really do appreciate it. I think next week we're going to be back in the Q400. I really missed the flying the Q400. I think that's the plan unless something crazy gets released and... Maybe we'll be back in this aircraft. I'm honestly not too sure what Thursday will leave. 
um, but plan for the Q400 as I think it's time for the, I, I really want to get back into flying the, the Q400 for at least a week and then we can jump back into maybe some flying some heavies and X-Plane or something like that. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming hang out. Mods, donate your sponsors. Without you guys here, none of this is possible. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. You guys are, are the backbone and you allow me to do this. So thank you very, very much to everybody else who can't afford to donate using a monetary value. Still want to thank you guys just as much. Just coming to hang out, being a subscriber, liking the channel. That is all I could ask for. Thanks for coming to hang out with me, friends. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys all um, on Thursday. Happy landings, friends. Peace.